Welcome everybody to the PCP! Guys, it's time we address the elephant in the room. Which one? Dumbo. Get out of here, Dumbo. Uh, like Your film was here. racist. <laughs> That's the best guy ever. Joining bitch <laughs> won't pay me back the $20 I lent you to go to fucking Five Guys. You mess up my order. This is the last time I'm trusting you, Dumbo. Go back to Anthrocon, Dumbo, you piece of shit. <laughs> jo joining us today is the best guy ever. Hello. That's me. We've got Tommy Oliver. Yo. We've got the hypocrite. Snort. Ben Saint. <laughs> Um, I am Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and Munchie. Watashi wa Munchie, sexu no tegesu. It's a fucking full house. It's six whole motherfuckers here to talk about Just like PCP your mom. HQ, the myth, the mythical legend that people have been like, like strung along hearing about for years, yeah. and they're just yeah, like yeah. wondering when the fuck it's that when is it coming? In the clouds. It's is spoken it about in hushed language around the campfire in the, the wee hours of the morn, wondering, what is it? When is it coming? Is it even real? Well, folks, today we're, we're going to we're going I, to reveal all. I've been really everything. excited to talk about this topic for a while. Like, it, it, it's no secret that the PCP has been like a cagey mess recently. And I really want to try and be as open as possible. Like, that's my leader agenda. That's my that's my unique unit. The, the no PCP bullshit at all, you Plus you, you 15 cagey fuck. combat strength where you're not being a little bitch. That's me. Uh, no, no, guys, this is all great. But we have to say, first of all, uh, this episode is coming out in the context of when this comes out. We are two weeks into our current Radcon 3 Arena Kickstarter. Everybody, please, this is the most important thing. If you're a patron, you know, and you only got so much money, allocate those funds to the Kickstarter, because we need that thing to go. <laughs> the, oh, man. The Amber Red Con's like, Red a, like a mini prototype money. of uh, well, everything we're about to discuss here. Indeed, Yo, that's right. Don't, y'all don't need to, all y'all need to say is, if you pledge $50, you get a t-shirt. It's a that's good right. t-shirt. It's a sick-ass t-shirt. It's gonna, gonna be a dope t-shirt. Don't, Tom don't, don't, don't pledge. It. Yeah, don't don't make don't pledge too many though, because then I have to make all of them by hand, and I'm oh, not no. making I'm, him. I'm a weak-willed <laughs> little boy. He's weaving, <laughs> but they'll That's be they'll be handcrafted for. with love, each and every one of them. Put Tom and to they work, will all everybody. Be a there will be a randomized, uh, like, still from the GIF that is the logo of Armor Retrieval. You see, this is a beautiful thing to make. Right, the first That's Radcon. Great. Every single one's first different. Radcon, yeah. yeah. The first Radcon had, like, a, a static logo. And then uh, Radcon 2, we had everybody make logos because we couldn't decide on one. And now we have kind of encapsulated our, our one logo is many logos. It's, it's, it, it, it itself it's, it's really it, it is actually qu pretty cool that, like, all the, you know, you don't know which one of the colors you're going to get. But the way yeah. you said it is like uh, the T-shirt will have a randomized GIF on it. It just sounded so terrible. <laughs> it's got an LCD screen. <laughs> well, we're we're all gonna have one, right? So Absolutely. if you want to match Absolutely. the cool kids and fit in with their clique, you know, like if you're one of those kids mm -hmm. who when you're at school, you see all the skater kids, and so you just start dressing like a skater kid, so they'll talk to you, like. You know, I'm just saying, if you wear a Radcon shirt around us, there's a good chance you're gonna start a conversation. You, you know uh, when you walk into the, in, you know when you walk into the high school lunchroom and you see all those dark emo kids sitting alone in their own table, yeah. and you think, what are they fucking conjuring over there? They must be up to something you special. Know, That's what you, you're gonna you look like have, if you wear these t-shirts. You, you may have come to Anthrocon alone and friendless every year <laughs> up to this point in your mm -hmm. life, but if you strut in there wearing a Radcon three t-shirt, let me just say your life's gonna change. That's all. I'm gonna and by say. the way, if, if for those who don't. No, Radcon is a gathering of us. If you didn't oh, understand, yeah. we didn't yeah. mention that uh, we'll, at all. We'll, we'll Everybody, we'll please click the link stuff. to the Kickstarter. Yeah, There's we'll, a link we'll in the description to the Kickstarter. Read everything. Uh, it's big. It's going to be exciting. We need, We've done Radcon one and two, of course. It's yeah. great. We need this it is, of course, extremely linked to HQ. And everybody on this episode right now is going to be there. Of course. I, really, I, I love our advertising method of like pretending we're extremely desperate, but in like a skeevy. <laughs> like we're all trying to like jokingly manipulate people into buying the shirts. That's the advertising strategy. Isn't, isn't that how advertising well, <laughs> works in general? It's yeah, all yeah. about him, manipulation. That's but we're right. showing them the our brain. cards. We're showing you them hit them in the brain and you hit them in the heart. You play all. Yeah. Fronts. That's what the PCP all your PR is like so far. It's just a skeevy monster mess. That, that's all that we are <laughs> now. talking about. I'm, it's the no, worst parts of real true. life advertising and internet advertising combined into an amorphous beast. Hey, can we talk about the actual your fucking reason we're doing this episode today? Can we actually talk about the actual... Yeah, uh, this Nate, when are you going to read the uh, Urban Dictionary definition I, I, of PCPHQ? I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. It's loading. It's loading. I, 
a, a, I did actually a, find that already. <laughs> a, a, a place that seems to get further and further away as human scientific knowledge improves. About a hundred years ago, <laughs> TCP HQ <laughs> was right above our heads. Then we started flying airplanes, it wasn't there, so it moved right above the atmosphere. Finally, we sent people into outer space into the moon. It wasn't there either, so now PCP HQ is past Pluto somewhere. What is this? Where did you get that? <laughs> we gotta get there. Yeah, we um, gotta get there. That's what that's I, what fucking Radcon is about. We gotta we yeah. gotta send space probes there to get a PCPHQ. I also I also looked up just just for you know uh, for for other people out there alternate definitions. First of all, here's the definition of PCP. Oh, also oh boy. known as angel dust, probably the scariest of all drugs, was used as a horse tranquilizer. Makes the user <laughs> hallucinate, become extremely violent, and not feel anything. I, 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 which is what the I PCB gotta, does. I gotta say that it's a little ironic that we would name our show after mm. what initially started as a horse tranquilizer. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Oh shit. Holy shit. How, how is this connection ever made before? She edited that gif. <laughs> now listen to this. Uh, people have known have been known to do horrible things to the Selms while under the influence of PCP. <laughs> yeah, do not out. use PCP. Do not. It will ruin your life. Head over to the Kickstarter to fund Red Country. <laughs> things he, like, another things like not go to college. He, here's another indeed, PCP indeed. HQ indeed. definition. A fiery place that is overcrowded with jihadists and terrorists. Besides the traditional <laughs> pool of politicians, tax fugitives, <laughs> bankers, traders, lawyers, and CEOs. That's that's Radcon uh that's Radcon three. Real talk you. real talk, how mm -hmm. unlikely do you think it is for a PCP fan to get a college degree? Like, I, what do you uh, think? Well, it's like the shit talk school so much. I know, I know they're they're out there doing their I studies. I feel like we encourage people to drop out. We do. Show. I, well, I, I mean, act, yeah. If someone asked me about college, I would absolutely tell them not to go unless they're going into a certain specific I, field. Hey, yeah. hey, I, I would never tell anyone to not go to college. I'm always, I'm very consistent on this point. Have a plan. Whatever you know, want man, to do, have a plan. If you need to go the to college, numbers, the then numbers do it. prove that it's it's increasingly a waste of time and money. I, I, that, well, I, then, I think do do the not. This is I, 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 I've been real hard on college a lot in my life, but uh, recently I've started to rethink that. I think I've wasted my entire life doing this instead of actually going to college and getting a degree. And I've been uh, keeping myself every single no, night look, for that for the past we, two we're months. We're forgetting the the real reason we don't want anybody who watches the PCP to go to college is so they can use that money instead to fund the PCP HQ. That's right. Now, now I got one one last thing on. here, guys. Listen to the definition of just the word headquarters from Urban. Dictionary, okay. uh, aka HQ. Yeah. Uh, one, a central place for a group or organization. That's number one. And number two, slang for PC shop where people play World of Warcraft, Dota, and other what? gay ass games. Dude, that's what it says. That's, that's I can't it says. wait. I that's that's exactly it. That was the plan. <laughs> that's all what we're along. gonna do. That those when, two when... definitions are like what we want the PCP HQ to be and what it's inevitably going to devolve into. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, let's talk let's talk about the basic, broad concepts about the like. What is the PCPHQ? Let's start there for all the uninitiated you know what's gonna be people interesting, who don't even know what's going on. Uh, okay, so the PCPHQ, just to to go over the bare facts, is um, you should check out our Patreon page. We talk a little bit about it on there, but what it is is it is the the magical dream realm place that we all imagine of the members of the PCP being able to live in proximity and then come to the HQ to work together, to make our collaborative projects similar to what happens with the uh, the Radcon stuff. Of course, that's a different animal because yeah. we all gather and well, like, the, live together. Well, the ultimate goal is basically yeah. to make the red letter media set up because exactly. those guys are a bunch of like... 35-year-old filmmaker buddies who have a similar sense of humor and style, so they all moved into the same place and rented out a studio, and that allowed them to make much higher quality products than what's typical on YouTube. And since mm. we all like to be quality over quantity type of guys as much as we can, well, like, YouTube kind of necessitates <laughs> you to fucking just churn shit out, but, like, mm. you know... Red Letter Media has got like a real fucking successful Patreon and, and real healthy view counts yep, off yep. of like putting out a video once every couple of weeks, you know, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. they can really go all in on making the quality maximized. And we think we are people with like strong enough personalities and chemistry to carry a show. Obviously, we can do this show, but like yeah. this show's growth potential is nothing compared to what could be if we could raise our production quality and really attract people to this this motley uh underground 
niche crew, you know? So, 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 so again, in, in, in layman's terms, PCP HQ is all of the PCP members living in proximity, aka, like, like in the same city, and having mm-hmm. some sort of space where they can record, uh, you know, studio-type stuff and, and yeah. do new I content they couldn't do over the internet. Real quick, mm-hmm. I don't even want to give people the impression that, like, because whenever we say that Red Letter Media stuff, I feel like people imagine it's just going to be the plebe and the weeb or, like, other half-in-the-bag, you know, rip-off or, like, mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. fucking best-of-the-worst rip-off shows. But I also think of it as, like, all right, you know, like, when Seth Rogen and James Franco and they've got, like, all their friends and they all just live in Hollywood so they make movies together just because they all live in the same place and they're all comedians? Like, mm-hmm. that's also what I see PCPHQ as. It's like... Well, what... Any Mm -hmm. random funny idea that we just can't do by ourselves and we need, like, one other funny guy to be nearby. Like, it's real convenient to have stuff like that for, say, if you've seen the collabs that uh, me and Nate did when I went to your house. Yeah, uh, right. Otaku workout workout training. It's just like like a little four-minute comedy video, but, like, the way it's filmed and the idea of it, like, it couldn't have been done without both of us being there. And, like, this Mm -hmm. specific combination of senses of humor... Even body type, you know, like it's yeah, right, all right. plays into the it's joke just, of that video, you know. I so it's like something big, that couldn't have happened with either of us alone. Yeah, one of the big you, strengths of having the HQ is going to be able to like increase the ability to make spontaneous, spontaneous content. Because mm-hmm. like if we have an idea, we can just do it. As opposed to being like, well, I want to do this idea with Digi. I got to track him down. We got to plan right. our time. We can actually do something together and blah blah blah. Like it's just mm-hmm. like you want to do it, man. Yeah, well, come on over, and then that's it. You serfs you- don't understand how much the fourth dimension adds to content. Like, like the ability <laughs> to be in the same room with something, uh, someone automatically alters how the content flows. Oh, I, yeah. e- even though, like, like I don't think I act any differently online than I do offline. It's inevitable that just that just is the case. It just is the case. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to stop it. It just is the case. And uh, I think you know, in all the Deagle Nation types, you know, Deagle Nation Lecker and all the sort of stuff like there. I think I think I. I think I have a, a certain flow in my, you know, natural, unscripted, live action sort of stuff that I just can't replicate online because that's, you know, it's just, it's well, just hard. I I, I'm not in front of people. I can't gauge things. So it's just yeah. being live action will really benefit, like, all of us in I mean, just way. look at the reaction of people to the lectures, exactly. the PCP lectures. Lectures which, are a shiny uh, the example. Lectures that's are, the, the biggest are, proof, I think, yeah. that, yeah. It's, I, I completely that it's agree. worthwhile. Mm-hmm. Like, and look the thing at, about yeah, those. Just, they're huge. Uh, Th- People th- love the lectures, obviously... and, they, and they got a huge response, and uh, mm-hmm. imagine if we could They're do fucking... those anytime we wanted. Imagine a PCP world without the fucking Song Shu lecture, or the fucking Deagle Nation lecture, or the Kingdom Hearts lecture. Ima- Im- like, those yeah. are two yeah. fucking, uh, or three insanely influential pieces of fucking work. They are, they are integral to the PCP lore. And they're all... Po- like, you couldn't <laughs> fucking have a lecture of delation. It would not be the same if I wasn't there pacing back and forth for two hours and people falling out of their fucking chairs thinking about Jace. That would not be the same. You could only have that sort of, of stuff course. in person. Yeah. I think there can be no debate that there's a lot of content that we can only make in that situation. And, and here's my main pitch to people. People don't always think about this, but... If you want to make your if you if you want to find yourself in a place where you're making like interesting or unique content, you have to set yourself up in a position where you can succeed doing it. Mm-hmm. So like we could you know continue to like slave away on like projects just doing exactly what we're doing forever. You know, we we could always do that. But like the amazing thing to me is I like to think back to a moment in the Kingdom Hearts lecture that I never ever could have planned. I never would have thought to write this joke, but the way it just emerged from this, you know, emergent gameplay of the lecture mm-hmm. of playing off the people in the audience was amazing. And it was when when Jeff asked the question, when I was talking about like Namine and, and Rockus and Sora, how like they're all the same person. And uh, he just said like, Nate, so, okay, or Mr. Best Guy, uh, so if they were to fuck, like what percentage of masturbation would that be? And then just, you know, I immediately respond, uh, for me, 100%. And it got a gigantic, <laughs> like, it was, it was the funniest moment in the whole thing. It, it's amazing. I watch it back all the time. And I never could have written that joke. And it watch, works in the context of that watch, setting watch so well. back the moment that you really nailed it over and over again, just like <laughs> reliving the, the <laughs> glory of you, the you're, time. You're, 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 you're like, literally you're mad. Masturbating it's, to yeah. your masturbation. Yeah. It's, 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 his, it's his ringtone now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that and weaponized I, Nate, thickness, I, I feel my you dude. Hardcore. Hell yeah. I feel you hardcore. Uh, the yeah, Nation right? lecture was completely unscripted, and I had no idea what I was going to do when I fucking got up there. And I just thought, well, 
I might as well just go as hard as I fucking to, can. To this, and and there that day. catchphrase, that catchphrase, that legendary yeah. phrase was fucking born to, out to of the ashes. To this day, that nigger has not gotten up off the ground. He's still there. He's <laughs> the slam. He's part of the fucking soil at this point. He's decomposed. Oh <laughs> oh, um so i mean i don't yeah. i don't know what else there is to say like just the fact that like because none of that all of this was like an idea 18 that, like, minutes into the had. podcast nate i don't know what else there is to say well yeah on this front on this front. i i i just mean because i think that really sums it up just in terms of like the tangible benefits right there there's well, no way no, to like plan a lot i think there's stuff. another another tangible benefit is yeah because okay. no, we're talking about like all this extra content we can do but i think mm -hmm. another good thing to point out is that even the base pcp will increase dramatically in quality because so much of like conversation and like interaction mm -hmm. is non-verbal so being in the same room if we all recorded in person there'd be a whole other dimension to the of conversation course. that'll just like subconsciously yeah. be Literally, added my, to it one of, never really become more one of my favorite comedy it? podcasts is is the sleepy cast and they record mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. same room the audio isn't yeah. great uh but like mm -hmm. The energy in that room of them just fucking around and talking about bullshit mm -hmm. is just right, so. It's right. like it, it. It leads to so much more funny moments. It's the fucking energy, man. It's the energy. When you're on the computer, it's too easy to like. Oh, look to the side. What's that bag of pretzels doing there? Look to the side. Oh, there's that glass of milk that I haven't taken downstairs. And now it has mold all over the top of it. it yeah. When you're in person, you yeah. can't do that. You have to keep focus on the person you're talking to, and it creates a you know a more natural dynamic conversation. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like it's mm -hmm. like when we did TBAP, like like all of the energy in TBAP was because we were doing it live. And I remember like yeah. when we didn't live in the and same great. place, like we didn't want to keep doing TBAP because it wouldn't be the same mm -hmm. to record it. Yeah, you know, literally, over a Skype call or whatever. Literally remember TBAP, like like think, like <laughs> like not as you don't like think about it for like a second. Hey, speaking of which, <laughs> pledge nine thousand and one thousand to Kickstarter. Hashtag Max Revive TBAP. Th those will stretch goals suck. I yeah. hate those. I mean, we we <laughs> had incredible. a. We had <laughs> a moment just now where six people tried to talk at once, and that's the exact reason that this should be done live. You know, like, mm -hmm. that doesn't mm -hmm. happen when you're all live, because you can all see each other gearing up to speak. You know when someone's getting ready. Here we've got a delay, so we can't even tell until after someone has decided to start speaking that they have begun speaking, you know? It's a True. lot harder to manage flow in a conversation, especially on, like, a laggy Discord server with six people on different parts of the fucking continent you know um so yeah think about all that and also think about the fact that the main reason we don't do face cam is that syncing six fucking face cam videos would be a pain in the ass getting everybody's quality consistent you know and like also it kind of sucks to be held accountable for two hours to not like play with your dick you know so mm -hmm. but when Switch you're around yourself, <laughs> not at all mr lack of self-control jesus of when this you're song. surrounded by everybody else then you can't then touch your you dick. Can, you you can touch then we can touch each other's dick. dick. And you'll yeah, 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 yeah. Burst link. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, okay. Burst so, so that appeal, for real. The, the, the appeal mm -hmm. of having great high energy content, that, that's all good and well. And I know all of our fans would love that. You, you guys, just listen to the Radcon stuff. All of that is impossible to do online. Like, so so that's, that's all squared away. That's all, you know, uh, uh, obvious. Th that, that's all incredible. But here's the mm -hmm. thing that also, like, like, you know, the PCP is about content, right? Well, uh, the other flip side of the PCP is that we're all friends. And we never see each other ever. None of True. us ever. Like fucking like like culture shock. Uh, intellectual alarm clock blasting your fucking ears, listener. The PCP uh, don't talk to each other. And they don't hang out uh, ever. And PCPU will hopefully fix that. Uh, I hope. Please. <laughs> I yeah, definitely want to hang out with everyone more. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, do Same. do like like you know, let's plays, but not like uh, for a video. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. just mm -hmm. uh, having a place to go and be like, yeah, what are you working on? I'm working on my video over here. Exactly. Like, I, I imagine right. it being like a combination of Red Letter Media with the big room where we film things, and then maybe some small. I, I have no idea what we're like. I what think we could it would be afford, but like super fucking cool if like for example we're all in the same place and maybe like hippo you're just like hey i'm working on the next hypocrite video like look at what i got so far what do you think and like yeah can give feedback things like, and, like that we can like, all influence our content as it's being exactly. developed because because be there's one thing that sick. i've had like ideas and i've been told by like digi at least um that i could send like my scripts to people to see what they think but it's it's I don't know. It it never really feels right to send a script that I'm working on, even when I'm stuck, to anybody, 
Mm-hmm. But when I'm like I'm because it's like it's more in the delivery and stuff. Mm-hmm. It would so be such I'm, so dude. It, so it is easy. a thousand times. Let me tell you, this is something I've gotten personally because I've been living with uh, with my fiance now because she left her job to work for me, and like reading a script out loud to somebody else, like you could just ask them, like, is that the right word? Like, is that the word I wanted? You know, mm-hmm. or like, is that funny? And then they can go. But that, yeah, that was funny. Or like you watch them, you can see them laugh, and you're like, okay, that's funny. I'm leaving that in the video. Like, I have definitely been using. We both have. Like, whenever we make something, we just look at the other person. Like, which parts of this are good, you know? And I think with PCP, with all of us having like, you know, pretty similar senses of humor and holding each other to a pretty high standard, having critical eye, you know, I think if maybe I could watch one of, you know, Nate or Hippo's videos over their shoulder right before they publish it, I could be like, that joke is real funny. That one I would cut, you know? And then you can look at my video and be like, this is fucking boring. You should make it funny. And I'll be like, okay. And we can do that. Uh, Let let me paint a picture for the viewers here. So imagine all of the PCP are are, are like nice castles on a a hexagon grid. Uh, in in in, In the middle, in the middle of all of these kingdoms, is a barren desert wasteland. That is our Discord chat room. And all communication must go through this desert wasteland, this, like, fucking Sahara. You have to put on your turban, and you will have to get your fucking (laughs) slaves, and you'll have to venture across this barren wasteland, get to the other empire, to fucking talk to the other uh, king there. That's what what talking online is like. If you fucking help us get PCBHQ, we can just walk over to each other's houses, and we won't have to fucking toil endlessly under the hot blistering discord sun now i i do just want to put in here i i don't want to feel i don't want to like make it sound like just give us money and this will happen like real fast i I want to add just a a a little bit of a damper to this whole fun conversation just to say this is a long-term goal that Mm -hmm. we're all working on and obviously if we're talking about the lives of like at least six people here that have to be like You know, financially, economically, uh, you know, housing situation has to be resolved. And all that stuff takes, like, a lot of money and a lot of effort. So in no way are we saying this will, like, just get us to, like, uh, right now on the PCP uh, uh, Patreon, we say, like, give us five grand. I think it's, like, per episode that we release. Mm -hmm. And, like, we will start to make PCP HQ happen. That is start. It will not, like, officially be fully realized at that point. We're definitely Mm -hmm. not going, because, like, we're doing a Kickstarter for the Radcon 3. And that's, like, a temporary, like, oh, we just want to meet up. We want to jump together and just do some stuff stuff and like make more content to like impress you all but like the actual getting over and everybody getting situated and and mm-hmm. you know ordering a studio that would That's never be like piece that piece. won't be crowdfunded it will just it's be like, like when we all have Right. enough money right. in order to yeah. support well, ourselves it, when we have way. income that we can rely on that's mm-hmm. when it will happen we it just makes... need you know to bolster our own and and the pcp mm-hmm. and all that it makes perfect sense. It takes five thousand dollars to fund PC for to fund Radcon, and that's for a week. So if we release a video every week and it's five thousand a video, then that means it's a Radcon every week. Oh my god! You know basically, what I'm saying? checks yeah, out. Basically, blowing your uh, fucking minds. Ke- ke- just keep in mind that this entire podcast is speculative and not at all like a promise. You're yeah, hearing the yeah, first real mur- murmurings of this nationalist ethno uh, ethno state <laughs> movement no live on air. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one uh, of the main reasons we decided even to do this episode is like we've been talking we because we haven't had sat down and had a super constructive conversation about this anyways. We've either. tried. So it's, ju- it's, it's just hard. as much for us. It's as too it is far out. It's too far. Right. Well, out. hold on. I think okay. Mm-hmm. Th- th- you guys are bothering me with this. It's too far out. There's no reality. Look, I'm moving to Boston in June. That's mm-hmm. happening. So PCPHQ starts June first when I move to Boston. PCP and whoever, isn't real until two PCP guys. Whoever live in the same shows place. up after me, that's it's officially HQ. The <laughs> second that there's two people there, Tom's already there, so me and Tom can already have PCPHQ. Sure, well, you know, well, it, like, what is, what is the HQ? Though? If, if, it, if it be... takes if it takes a month for the rest of you to show up, Tom's gonna be living in my garage by that point. Uh, <laughs> by by the by, so. 
you know, the PCP HQ will be me and Tom and Pantsu Party over here fucking making vlogs until whoa, everybody whoa, else shows whoa, up. Whoa, 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 <laughs> What the fuck does Pantsu Party have to do with PCP HQ, dude? Let's put a stamper right now on that shit. Uh, no, that, uh, uh, just uh, saying, that's what it'll be until the rest of you guys show up. D- Where the fuck d- is everybody? Okay. Digi, that, 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 that's, that's <laughs> all good, laugh. Will, and put a pin there. I, we, we should come back to that. But I, that, that, that's, that's nitty gritty shit, and we should probably keep this abroad still, because, because I still want to... My point to... is, every Everybody, stop trying to make it less hype by making it sound like it's too far uh, away. Because then the I audience isn't going to give us all their money. Because they're going to be like, I don't care about... Th-. Like, you, you know when they release those, like, teaser trailers for a movie that comes out in, like, a fucking year? And you're like, I literally will not remember that this movie is supposed to come out. Like, fu- I don't care enough about well, any movie. Uh, but on the other hand, you, know? you don't want to be a Final Fantasy 15 and promise something and then take 10 years to deliver something that's way shittier than well, was initially promised. You don't want to be and, Kingdom yeah. Hearts 3 and buy I mean, two don't. consoles. No, you don't. For a game that no, we don't want to be any yet. of that stuff. We want to be a game that announces it's going to be released six months uh-huh. beforehand and then comes <laughs> out and everyone loves it. That's what we want to do. So you let's, from Digi. let's just, it's let's just tell in everybody months, it's confirmed. happening in six months and then do but, but it the in six months. the complexity involved. Like, am I going to be ready to literally quit my job in six months? Make it I can't that promise way. that. Make I it cannot so promise that. Way. that. Uh, well, I think, I mean, I think what it is <laughs> is that, like, PCP HQ, like, it, like, we're... The ultimate, like, the ultimate hypothetical form of it where, like, all of us live together mm-hmm. is, like, maybe far out and it's complicated. But, like, it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be, it's not black and white like that. Like, PCP yeah. HQ right. can start to form, like, yes. immediately. That's what I'm saying. It's a, yeah. it's it's on a spectrum. Like, I have mm-hmm. always like expected. Like all of us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've always expected that me and Nate are probably going to be the first ones to meet up. Because I'm, I'm definitely moving. Nate's probably going to be ready to move before too long. Yep. Uh, if we are all if we're all going to the, wherever Tom already is, then he'll be there. So I'm thinking like, you know, there's we don't have to wait for everybody else to show up before we start making videos. You know, like of whoever's course, available course. is going to be the initial crew of making like the live action content, and everybody else is going to still probably be in the audio only version. You know, mm-hmm. and like I, mm-hmm. I expect that to basically exist until everybody shows up. You know, and then mm-hmm. it'll be like, all mm-hmm. right, we don't need that to exist anymore you know uh, but like whoever's there will make content and you guys already know me and nate make shit together i, I went to your house and we made like 20 fucking mm-hmm. videos so mm-hmm. like yep. you know as soon as two two of us are in the same place it's pcphq and then what that is can grow and evolve as more people turn up and contribute to it uh, uh, there's Correct. one general broad thing that i would like to brush up upon that's like that may not seem immediately relevant but i think it is extremely relevant to hq as a whole what is the PCP to everyone else? Be, be, uh, here, I'll, 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 I'll say I'll say what I perceive mm-hmm. the PC to be uh, to be. To me, okay. it's sort of like a weekly world war. Like with each member being like a mighty empire, like each rich in culture in their own right, banding together to duke it out intellectually and physically each Sunday to appease our suzerain f- uh, fifteen thousand fold. No one's definitely main be. identity should be appe- like should be appearing on these podcasts. Like the PCP mm-hmm. is like supplementary uh, material to all of our individual content. That's not to say the PCP kind of. isn't important. All right, it, I'm gonna it, I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and make a promise right now. When PCP HQ happens, if, if there is a live action version of the PCP in any form, physical mm. fighting will be a part of it. It has to it has to end with blood. Physical <laughs> violence will definitely be hey. will be a sponsored content of the PCP. I you, mean, you know Munchie another wrestle, tangible benefit. He'll throw uh, I mean, me. it's kind of it's kind of part of this whole situation, but like uh, right now, Gib does in fact live in another country, and if yeah. PCP HQ can form and become like a stable, actual sort of business model, then we could get visas for Gib to come work and live oh, here yeah. as a yeah. employee. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think had that's me. the biggest financial goal. Like the the reason yeah. that PCP HQ needs like the it reason we need a kick or the reason we need mm-hmm. a Patreon for it. You know, like mm-hmm. why does it have to be a Patreon goal if me and Nate could just move into the same place anyways? Yeah. It's because we can't do that with someone. Like Hippo, who's you know not even from this country. Like we need to have a real stable foundation for someone like him to come over. Right. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. not because it, I I looked into it a, a lot of times and and checked mm-hmm. and stuff. And there's like two main ways I could get into the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, three if I'm if I'm illegal. Uh, but uh, like <laughs> two is like one is like marrying someone from Marriage, this country, yeah. and the other one I is being up, hired dude. by an uh, by a company. <laughs> And if the PCP can become like a literal like LLC company thing, 
I think mm-hmm. that would be an avenue that I could like, uh, like you can hire me in. I could be on shows and be like, ha ha, and then I can have a house. And it, what or if we kickstarted Gib? What if we kickstarted Gib and Munchie's wedding? You know, I, they're married. I'm no. down, dude. I keep telling you, it's not a fucking joke. I will gay marry yeah. you to get you into America. This is a full like my legs are spread. Just whenever you're ready to go, I'm here. It's so weird. I can't tell uh, my parents that I'm getting gay married to a big fat not? Mexican lad that's like <laughs> okay, sixteen. Wait, okay, re- real question. Remember that movie? Now I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry or whatever it was about yes. like two guys. Yeah. Like, okay, why? What was the problem exactly? Why can't you just marry? Like, is there? Do you have to like prove you like love them or something? Like, why doesn't that just work? That in was real the life? conceit of the movie. I don't know if that's true in reality. Yeah, I'm real I, curious I, about I've that. I've never heard of like because people get shotgun married all the time. So yeah, yeah. Or maybe they. I think it was because they had to be married specifically for some kind of grant that they were trying to get or some. Right. I don't fucking yeah. know. Who cares? What are we talking about? It fascinates me. Fucking I have no idea Mary. about it. I, I mean, uh-huh. if it comes down to that, I just won't tell anybody in my family that I'm technically married to a man. You can do that. Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I will just never You're mention it. You're not married it. to a man. You're married to a god. Let's I'm yeah, married yeah, to a yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. We'll just, we'll, we'll, it'll just be munchy, and the detail, there will be no further details. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say I found God, and they're like, oh, <laughs> no. He, he went to America and became a Christian. And munchy is like, oh. every gender at once. So, uh, fuck, you know. uh, respond to what I said, by the way. What, what? was that? What, what, what is the PCP to everyone else? I, I can answer that. Oh, right. To me, yeah, the ben, PCP please. is basically a virus. Or no, not, not, not a virus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a more, more accurate would be to say a, 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 a paramecia, or a single-celled organism ah, with okay. many nuclei. Mm-hmm. And these nuclei mm-hmm. inside control the main body and stretch it and squish it uh, however mm. they see fit mm. with the goal of expanding and, and assimilating more and more into the entity as a whole. Mm. Like we're all working independently, but we're all working to the shared goal of getting our big fucking blob body as big as it can get. Yeah. I'm okay. all about my blob body getting bigger. That's, that's all <laughs> I think about day and day. We're just day a out. big old blob. We're absolutely filled with goop. Mm-hmm. We're uh, laden you- with it. Does anyone else share my Justice, my Justice League interpretation of the PCP? Um, uh, I forget. World War? Like, I don't remember you I don't get comparing it. it to the Justice League at all. Yeah, well, that, that's really what you world powers or like yeah, the, the, yeah, the, like the un- United I mean, Nations. Of Nations? Yeah. 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 What I see it as is what it has always been, um, like Sans Podcast, is just a mm. group of internet creators who are like intellectually cool and fun, mm. and I don't hate them. And they like me as well, so that's good. And we can all make each other uh, uh, grow uh, uh, our penises big because we like each other so much. Yeah. You know, this, yeah. this has changed over time, but I certainly still think of the PCP uh, when, you know, I, I, I had the idea to start doing the podcast. And the reason for it was because I just wanted to talk to you guys. And if not for the podcast, that simply would not happen. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. you know, it had and now it's actually making some money, which is very nice. And uh, all these other things about wanting to move in together, it's helping facilitate that goal. So to me, it's an excuse to continue talking to my friends, continue collaborating with the very few content creators online or some of them that I respect. Um and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a, a dream of like you you are the guys that I want to work with, and I do, and I hope to continue to do so in new ways in the future. And this is a unifying element. I do not put a I mean I love just talking at length as as obviously because I just like love doing the PCP in general. So for me, it's just a great way to to just dump a bunch of bullshit every week on uh, on a podcast and shit. Uh, but other than that, it's a great unifying element with people who I respect and want to work with. Yeah. Uh, That's for, what it is. For, for me, the PCP is like a, uh, a combination of both a collaborative and competitive effort uh, because mm. like we come together and we're all friends. And we hang out, we talk shit and we just make a collaborative product, which is great. And it's an excuse to talk with all you guys. But at the same time, the PCP is an enterprise is also a way for me to like keep tabs on what everybody is doing. And mm. it kind of keeps me motivated because like I've, I've talked before about how I feel like I have to earn my place here. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. I definitely feel like there's like a bar that needs to be bet and that kind of helps keep me working harder than I might by myself. I might like lose motivation. Can I just yeah, put out this thought on that? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, that I've, I've definitely felt like other groups of friends or people mm-hmm. are not, they, I don't, it's, it, they're not like hard on me I- enough. Like they don't, they, they just say, ah, that's great. And like the bronies, like the bronies. <laughs> it's, it's, it, this group is like, 
one part everything I said before, but then another part... It is, yeah, it is competitive. It's like we're always trying to one-up each other and we get annoyed when one of us In is like the, the most popular Digi and we want, we want <laughs> to true. kill Digi and he's like, oh, God, like, look know, at all that it, money. It, but but yeah, we've always been above, but the rest of us are like vying for second but place. We, we, we were but yeah, also like, jealous of Digi. We all made a snow of idol of him and <laughs> murdered him violently. On <laughs> it's true, that's true. And it's, and it's like, it's like it's, it's good to have competition. It's like a friendly rivalry, like, 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 it's yeah. like an anime. Yeah. Like everyone says, it's, it's funny, Gib, that you mentioned the the uh, the the hard talk and stuff. Because I remember at one point, like this time last year, I felt very mm-hmm. isolated from the group, and I approached you specifically about it. And you straight up told me like your shit just hasn't been interesting, and none of us have felt it's worth <laughs> talking about. And that like kicked my ass. And from that point on, I was like, I need to bust my ass harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then but the PCP I, started yeah, making it's... money, and you cozed it up real quick. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> Look, my number oh, my above God. above it's all else, red. as much as I like being a content creator, I like being a Jew so much more. I, I, so money is, is the best great. Money social is great. lubricant that I know. Of. <laughs> it's not bad. And by the way, uh, here's your do- dose of hashtag weird utilitarianism for the day. Um, I literally believe unconditional love is immoral, and I will never subscribe to it at any what, point. What? What? Conditional love. Know they had YouTube well, it, it has everything to do with this, because if we were just friends who didn't criticize each other and were just, like, supportive in everything that we did, there would be stagnation, and there, oh, at yeah. least True. within our relationship. Let me, uh, I want to bring in my, my move, I see the PCP. Uh, okay. Digi, you're yeah. drunk. Get out of here. Yeah, dude, Digi, there's, there's something wrong. There's no. something wrong. <laughs> that's, that's I've, I've broken my brain, but, uh, no, I... We know. I think, um... <laughs> How I see the PCP is that everyone in this group is an artist who, given the opportunity, would attempt to make the greatest piece of art they possibly could, and then attempt to one-up it every time they made something new, given Mm. the opportunity. Now, Mm. right now, everyone's in a position where they're trying to become financially stable through art in order to Mm. give them the leeway to do that. All of us are young as fuck. Nobody's even 30 yet. Most artists don't even really become big until their 30s you know hello i see us as a <laughs> right I see us as a group of people with an insane amount of potential because everyone in here is so creative and has been doing it for such a long time that they've kind of proven themselves. No one in here is like a mm-hmm. flake. None of us were uh, one success and then we quit YouTube. You know, we all mm-hmm. tried to build multiple careers here and are still trying to grow and are still like hungry. And I think, you know, Nate is obviously somebody who wants to make really highly produced and epic videos. He might not ever put the, like, the, like, stupid amount of effort he put into some of them again, but, like... Incorrect. <laughs> well, he, he won't, but, like, no, like give it the... <laughs> It's just going to get stupider from here. <laughs> but, okay, yeah, right. but if you didn't have to make Weagawa, you would just focus on making those videos. Right, but like, but I do have to make Weagawa right, exactly. if I want to succeed on YouTube, so and I do. I'm so at, I, do. I, I accept I've, that responsibility. I only just mm-hmm. recently got to a point where I'm able to take more of a step back, and even then, I still, right, try to, right. I still try to put out shit constantly just because there's some people who just want to hear my voice all day, and I want to appease mm-hmm. those people as well, and I have fun doing it. It's a good way to just constantly, like, Throw every because, fucking because idea one that of those enters your mind out, you. you know. Oh yeah, because <laughs> we say one of those people is me. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like. You know, something like Nate doing Weagawa, a lot of these are video ideas, and we all have this. This all, this happens to mm. everyone in this group, that we have way more ideas than we can actually fucking make. Like, mm. the worst problem. Nate, there's no way Nate could ever in his lifetime make fully edited videos out of every idea that's on Weagawa. So there is a, a reason for that show to exist, and I'm sure you wouldn't just kill, like, that lower effort content entirely just because you were able to make higher effort stuff. But, like, mm-hmm. you probably would be like, hey, there's not going to be a weekly show instead. I'm going to make fucking movies that are going to like, you are never going to want to stop watching this video, you know? Indeed. Indeed. And I think that's what everybody, I think that's what everybody in here would try to do if like they had the unlimited resources and, and time, you know, I don't think anyone in here is somebody who, if we had all the money in the world would be like, I'm never doing art again. We'd just be like, yeah. no, oh, now I finally yeah, have time the, the, the to make my fucking masterpiece, you know? Yeah. And you know, I, I, I feel guilty even saying this, but you know, looking back on it, I got to say my respect for Aaron Hansen is coming back around as just a businessman and as a practical guy who was like, this is what I got to do to succeed. 
Make Game Aaron's Grumps, great. just grow it. I, you know, the more time that passes, the more I recognize just what a mature And that dude can do anything he, he wants now. Like, if he yeah. wants to make an animation, he fucking, I mean, you, I, I was just the other like, day. Like, first you get rich, then you can just do anything. So, like, yeah. first get rich, everybody, just do it. Just, just the other day, first. I was looking at fucking Kitty Cat Gaming, uh, his, yeah. his, his yeah. wife's channel, and, like, he animated a full intro for that. Like, just for his wife's channel, just because he felt like it. Like, he knew mm-hmm. there would be no profit for him in doing that other than, like, hey, my wife will have a neat little intro animation. But, like, that he'll get it, the it's suck like a fully flat. Oh, way. yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but, like, you know, I'm just looking at that and I'm like, this is what you, this is a freedom you have when, like, you don't have to interrupt mm-hmm. your schedule of, like, I have to have an animation about a popular game done every month. You know, like, most Dude, people and have did you to see- do. What he just announced on Game Grumps or whatever, like, when they were doing Game Grumps touring, there was no production company that could handle, like, what they were asking for as YouTubers. So they just built their own. And now they're, like, looking for people. Oh, and I was great. like, God damn, I want to sign up to this shit. I yeah. want to tour. Maybe I can work with the Game Grumps and do this shit. God, they, I'm so impressed by these people. <laughs> Fuck. They fucking, uh, they made a visual novel, you know? Like, these are yeah, the kind of things yeah. that if we, I think, at, at our group, if we all lived in one area and we didn't mm-hmm. have the monetary concern of, like, I need constant yeah. videos, that's the kind of shit we would come up with. I mean, remember that I'm time that T Back just made a visual yeah, novel Ben's for the intro to one of the videos? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> but, like, what I mean, I'm, ass- I'm assuming we all have, like, a big project, like, somewhere in our minds that, given oh, yeah. no constraints, we would do. I know I do, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. of course. I've They're got valid. a lot. Like, I, yeah. I can't dis- – right now, I just got myself up to a point where I'm allowed to make, like, one video a month on the main channel, and that's enough mm-hmm. for me to make something pretty big. But I've never been able to, like, oh, I had to disappear for six months to make this piece of art. So, mm-hmm. you know, like, in, we all know, uh, you know, our, our buddy The Endless One did that. I don't know how well that worked mm-hmm. out for him financially, mm-hmm. but, like, that's how we got Horseshoe Finale is dude had to disappear for six months and make that thing because that's, right, that's, right. that's why it's a masterpiece is that it had yeah. that much time and Some and art just put demands it, you know? that kind of focus. Like, right, there's, exactly. There's a concept called deep work, which uh, it's, it's a concept I've been reading up about. It's called there's... deep web. Yeah, yeah the, deep, the deep web. But, like, deep work, it's, it's when – because there – it was interesting. I was reading this book and was talking about how like social media is destroying people's attention spans, and mm-hmm. it's actually like making making it more difficult for creators to do what's called deep work, which is when you just spend like three, four, five, six hours at a row without any inter- interactions or interruption, just working mm-hmm. on something. Mm-hmm. In depth. That's how that's I make where, all like, my videos. All yeah, of and that's my where the majority like of like good work comes from. That's like um yeah. oh there's there's a talk by um oh god one of the one of the Monty Python guys uh, mm-hmm. who's the John big please? one. Yeah. John Cleese? John Cleese? Yeah, there's a talk by John Cleese about uh, like the the, the like the creative play. mode and like and how like you need like time to like let your mind enter the creative mode or something. Yeah. Sounds mm-hmm. similar. And they were talking about how like with multitasking and stuff, like when you like no one can actually multitask, like your brain can't do it. You just do yeah. task switching. And th- the interesting thing was like your brain, when you switch tasks, you don't immediately just stop doing the other thing. It's still kind of lingering in your mind. So it takes a little while for your brain to completely switch off from one thing and focus on another. So if you're constantly going and checking social media or whatever else, or like doing smaller things in the middle of your work, you never fully commit to it a hundred percent. Yeah. So it's like it's just really interesting, like how like the yeah. brain works and stuff oh, like that. I'd love someone, to be able to. If you're someone who has problems with that, fucking get like the Stay Focused app. You know that shit just blocks you from all social media for like a day, or it gives you it gives you ten minutes of time every day, and then it'll just block the page. So you got ten minutes of Twitter today, and you better fucking use it spare. You better use it right, you know. Or yeah. like, if you waste yeah. it all in the morning, it's like, well, I guess you're grinding on your writing all night because you ain't opening that fucking. Well, isn't Twitter. that better if you get it oh, all yeah. out of the way? It well, depends. Yeah, Some, yeah. Get rid of sometimes that shit. I've been in cycles where I was doing like I would just do it all at the beginning and then not have it all day. Sometimes I want like I need that little spice of like breaking away from what I'm writing for like just a minute, you know, to look at Twitter. And but I try to spread that out all night. You know, I'm only allowed to look for 30 seconds because it's going to cut into my 10 minutes. So like that's mm-hmm. another way to kind of keep yourself uh, on track. Yeah. Yeah, ec- man. E- e- excellent. I, I feel I feel like uh, like like coming back to to you know like like peace be HQ and have and how that will affect mm-hmm. us and, and how we'll be able to be better people because of this even mm-hmm. even if you disregard any of the you know business 
uh, content wise things again just being together will in like 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 you know I, I just said you know remove content but even just being better friends and just talking to each other will you know influence our content and make it yeah. better I, I know that like like being together will like fucking like pacify all of our dark mental urges and fucking like you know moderate our, our, our suicidal and, and homicidal tendencies and try and make us into more productive, moral people with a fucking backbone for once. And so just being friendly with one another and being able to actually see another person every, you know, once every week or so instead of the zero time me, we all get to see, that me, will be great. And that will be able to make us, uh, you know, more functional fucking people and yeah. therefore better content. Mm-hmm. Let me make, break out one of my favorite comparisons. Like, fucking in the fighting game community, like, people who get big as, like, f- uh, fighting game players, they have to play against other big players. Like, mm-hmm. you can't get good playing against, like, your local guys. Like, even if they're really great, like, if you're not playing against a pro, they just know so much more that, like, just playing against them teaches you way more about the game, you know? That's, that's preparing you for an entirely different meta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, like, us living together, or even working together all this time has always been that way. Like, we've had a... Everyone in the PCPs had a very massive influence on each other. I think that's pretty fucking obvious. Of course. Um, Mm -hmm. Which is why why we all share a fan base, because people generally, you know, can see the threads of each other's work in in everything we do. Mm -hmm. But, like, uh, you know, living together just kind of increases that. It's... I... uh, one of the things about, like, the, the reasons people recommend going to college is, like, they say you'll get experience just by, like, seeing things that you wouldn't have seen at home, you know? Mm-hmm. And with the piece, with uh, with working with you guys, I've had times where, like, just watching someone edit, you might, like, learn a whole new way to edit, you know? Or watching someone's workflow or just being around when someone's being creative gives you ideas about how to approach creativity, you know? I might have different brainstorming methods from Nate, but, like, maybe if I copy the way he takes notes, it'll let me make a different kind of video or something. Mm, like My famous note-taking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been exploring all this because I'm helping my fiancé launch her channel, and, like, we've been just watching YouTube videos fucking constantly and, like, taking notes on what mm-hmm. everybody does, you know? So I've been in this constant state of, like, man, being around YouTubers is powerful. Like, being around people who do the same work you do, like, will really just like kind of reconfigure your mind to think of things in a different way. And I've learned a lot from even just seeing like Hippo's uh, writing style, like how he writes the jokes into his fucking scripts, which I don't do at all. Like Mm -hmm. Hippo like writes notes about how to deliver jokes in the scripts themselves. A lot of people might not have even thought about that. And some people probably just learn something just by me explaining that on this podcast, you know? Mm -hmm. So like the more we learn from each other, the more we can tell the world. Cause like I might take for granted the way I write, but then one of you guys looks at it and goes, Oh fuck guys, did you know you could write like this? And now everybody knows, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't want to, I don't want to get anybody too whipped up in a frenzy, but I just want to say, like, keep your eyes on what's going here. If you, so if you like what we do, I don't want to make anybody give, like, us money or whatever to support a dream that doesn't have a tangible benefit for them. But I think that we can offer that. that I mean, that I mean, this, there's no, this, like, there's no, like, yeah, there's no, like, fun for this, right? Yeah, just, no, just, no. just the main PCP Patreon, you know, does yeah. include language saying, like, if we hit 5,000 goals... PCBHQ will become real now. Like we'll yeah, start to make it real. When we have that's the, the money personally to do it, we right. will do it. Mm-hmm. And it depends and on whether we individually get big or the PCP allows us. Like we get an income from that. Right. Right. But it's not going to be like yeah. We're not going to fund it directly. Speaking mm-hmm. of that, Nate, uh, about specific things that we don't want people to get all riled up about, let's talk yes. about specific things that will rile people up. I, I think we've all talked about the general broad stuff. I think it's time to get the nitty gritty, like what exactly we yeah. plan to do. Like, can, can, like, I, you know, can I give what you my vision plans? here? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, l- sure. Let me, let me give you my general vision of what I see when PCBHQ becomes real in my mind. Mm-hmm. I see, and this is just me, other people might disagree, and this will all be figured out in time when this sure. starts to become real, but in my world, there is a core unifying show, perhaps weekly, uh, that is something akin to a half-in-the-bag style show. Like, uh, live action, people sitting down, talking about thing they want to talk about, uh, with probably, I don't know, I, I imagine some sort of Weagua-style editing. It'll depend on, like, who the editor is and what the workflow becomes for that sort of thing. Um, and so, and that's, like, the main core content on the channel. And then aside from that, uh, probably just like relative or c- content that's currently relevant to whatever's going on. So for example, something like the podcast me and Digi did about um 
uh, like the Aramanga Sensei. Like, I imagine things along those lines appearing on there as well. Maybe live action, maybe not. And I, I do get inspired by a lot of what Red Letter Media does in terms of they'll just make, like, random videos, like, Science Man explains, like, Transformer Genesis oh, yeah. or, or you know, Terminator Genesis, like, whatever it is. All that kind of shit. Like, that, that's the... Hamboy Winter War sort that's of thing. The, well, that's the kind of stuff that it helps to have the studio set up for because, like, exactly. they created a... It's a different type of video, but, like, all they really had to do was mm -hmm. swap out a few assets, and, like, they already have the lighting, they already have the big cameras, like, everything is ready mm -hmm. to go. Just swap out the basic props of, like, the set. And for us, even just working individually, I'm sure this is true for all of you because we all fucking work in our bedrooms, that you have to mm -hmm. set up your whole fucking <laughs> setup every time you want to record anything, you know? See, yeah. that honestly when I dream of PCBHQ, the number one thing I dream of, considering I literally have to like construct my set every time I set up, oh, having yeah. a studio room where I just go flip some switches and I'm ready to record. That is my mm. dream. Mm. That is yeah. my dream. I cannot that was wait what to we make tried to do at the at Radcon and with the set that was in yeah. my my old house. But like, I never quite got the lighting good because mm. it's hard mm. to justify spending a lot to, to make a proper set. You're, we're gonna have to drop a lot of money. But like, if everyone was there sure. and we were all using it it would be justified you know mm -hmm. like if we wanted to get real professional shit uh, you know i think all of us understand that that's the next layer to go to but it's like there's yeah. not enough there's not enough evidence that that will profit us to do it for just our own videos you know mm -hmm. but like if mm -hmm. everyone's working together it's like okay well having a dedicated setup will mean we can like just churn shit out like you know pencil in what whatever you're doing that day and let's fucking film the schedule you know yeah yeah for sure that's one thing I dream of. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably construct like some sort of home studio. I don't. I feel like I'm gonna move pretty soon, probably before PCBHQ becomes real. And the most important thing is to get a room where I can just set up my shit, uh -huh. and I don't know, maybe get another computer, just all that kind of stuff. Man, I dream it every fucking day. God, I fucking hate setting up my goddamn camera. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'm really glad that we're talking about like specific things we're going to uh, mm -hmm. do because one of my main concerns with PCPHQ, uh, you know, before this uh, a while ago was, uh, well, we had like you know, of course, the the obvious benefit of like, oh, we'll be able to do things together. There will be new mm -hmm. shows available. That's kind of where the conversation ended, and there was yeah, no like yeah. like actual show. Like, yeah, sure, there would be a show if we were all together. But uh, when we're talking about moving and putting people's lives on the line, it's better to have an actual show planned instead of just saying there will be a show eventually. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, well, I, I mean, so, I, th yeah, go, I go, think go. The, the, the reason it's sort of vague when we initially came up with mm -hmm. it was it's just, it will be us talking about media like we do. Well, um, I think... But there's like two of us instead of one or maybe just one. Like, yeah. the, the, the reason... Like, I I mean, I don't do Weagawa-style things, but I could. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, like, not that good on camera, generally. And I have a really bad place to record. But, like, um... I, doing, like, edited review things only really works with me when it's something that I already have a history with and I can sort of explain and, 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 and do all that sort of, like, big editing, long-form stuff. Um, and if I wanted to do that for, like, my channel to get you know, talk about new games and, and get, like, new viewers and, and whatever, like, it would be way easier if I could just have somebody there and we say, yeah, we played this game, this is what we think about it, and that would be the show, but it would be great because it's, like, it's it's just T-Bap, but with a video game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, it's, I, 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 I've, I've, I've turned my nose up a bit at uh, at Red Letter Media before, but I've been watching it a bunch lately, and thinking about it in terms of like, like what mm -hmm. if, like what if the PCP had like a similar setup, and uh, I don't know, it's just really great, it's really exciting, <laughs> right, right, yeah. there yeah. you go, there you go. <laughs> I mean, just like you know, this they have these props and they just do these fucking shit things and they it's have just, set like it's just themselves up to succeed they it would just yeah they did configured. and it would just be it's so much better than it would be if it was audio only mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. like if they couldn't do they couldn't do like any of the shit they do if they didn't have yeah. like a studio at the very least their meme potential like t their big memes on tv just posting red letter media you know like gifs and images and stuff like they are they're kind of a cultural phenomenon in their own small yeah. way oh they and have a yeah. pretty Amazing. big cult fan base you know indeed. like indeed like I'm a, one of them. a grown up version of uh of what we got you know um, yep. <laughs> but uh, 
I, I think the reason that it's been so nonspecific is that for me, I usually base the projects I do on what is at my disposal. So like right, the way I right. see it, again, if it was only going to be me and Nate for a few months, I would just invent a show that is for mm-hmm. me and Nate and is meant to last a few months, you know, until we get the next guy or like mm-hmm. if it or designed to go on until it needs to be replaced or unless it's mm-hmm. super mm-hmm. successful, in which case we just keep doing that show even after PCP. That's my starts, thinking as know? well. Yeah. So like. Yeah. They, basically for me it's just like all right who do i have what equipment do we have right now what space do we have you know if if me and Nate both move to the same place and we can't yet afford or justify the expense of a studio space mm-hmm. we might just do something in a home studio but with both of us you know but there's a lot right. of potential there um so yeah i i think that's why it's been so non specific but i just want to have the ability to if there is an idea to do it, like again with the otaku workout training video. And I realized that mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff that I tend to cite as like what I want to be able to do more of is not necessarily like the most popular videos we do. Like <laughs> sure. obviously I think all of us have been are most successful when we're critiquing popular media more so than like just trying to mm-hmm. carry something on the strength <laughs> of like our personas, you know, <laughs> but like I think that, there's a lot more room to explore what we can do with that. Whenever we do make a weird video like that, like a comedy video, there's a crowd of people who's like, this is my favorite thing you've ever made. And I'm like, I agree with that crowd. The, the passionate you know? yeah. fans are the ones who will throw their money they're, at you. you they, know? Right, they're here's, the ones. Here's, they're the ones we should be worried about. <laughs> get, get, I, I got a show idea. By, I and I show by worried idea about, that... I mean, we should, we should care about their opinion and not the, mm-hmm. the fair weather people who are just interested in the popular mm-hmm. thing we might right. be talking about. Reasonable. Yeah. I, I, Reasonable. I, 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 I got a show idea, all right? Because, okay. like, we've got all these, like, vague things, like, uh, just uh, personalities put them together and mm-hmm. talk about something. That's, that's, that's all good. We can make a billion different types of those sort of shows. But here's, here's a specific one. It'll be, uh, we go... I don't know whether Walmart sells like a brick, a giant bricks of limestone, but we go and get a bunch <laughs> oh, no, of bricks of limestone, <laughs> and then we bring them into a room, and uh-huh. we get some hammers and chisels, and we just learn how to sculpt. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I'm definitely a, down. A let's sculpt. A let's sculpt. Uh, let's sculpt. Me and Nate have had a long, long time plan to do some kind of show about learning Japanese. Oh, so uh, you spilled both, the beans, but we it's both need true, to guys. learn it. We've had, had, we've had that plan for like a, a, a fucking solid year, and we like it's, it's, it obviously would get done way easier if we lived. You know near what? Each it's, other. It's, okay, now that you've said it, let me just give everyone my dream. This is a project I came up with, and I think it is literally the best idea of all time. It is a podcast. I mean, it'd probably be live action if we if we get this shit together. But oh, it is yeah. a, a a a like regular, maybe weekly style show where we are learning Japanese, beginning with the fundamentals, and like we'll, every week we'll make a new lesson, learning more stuff. And the it, point of this is that one day when many episodes are made. This will simply be a fun YouTube playlist podcast where you can just watch, and if you like practice and do the lessons along the way, you will just learn Japanese as well. Is and, that not and, the greatest idea? It's like our achievable for Japanese culture. There exactly. will, and there will also be a competitive element to it, and like oh, lots yeah. of lots of dunking on each other. Like that's sure. going to be integral. You know? I love that idea. Get God, dunked on, bro. Uh, yes. <laughs> Mega uh, Japanese will be playing the entire time. I, oh, I'm yeah. gonna get on a train of thought, and Ben, I think I think you'll be interested in this, so please chime in uh, whenever you feel necessary. Okay. I am not a video person. I do not create videos as my main thing. Of course, you know uh, 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 the main thing I do now, you know, like like that people see, not mm-hmm. behind the curtain, is videos. But you know, I don't perceive myself to be that. I am a draw person first and foremost, and in, in yeah. my heart. Mm-hmm. And so it, like you know, if I were to go to PCPHQ, well, of course I would benefit from studios and stuff such as that. That's not the main thing that I would be doing. Uh, is you know creating new types of videos. Main... I have I have types of videos that I would like to do. I would like to do a cooking show. I like to do literal fighting. <laughs> I want I want to literally record fights. That's not a joke or a <laughs> meme. I want to do that. I am intensely interested in that. I like wrestling. Uh, mm. And there's stuff that, that I could do and I want to do. But I think even like even the you know most individualistic sort of stuff like you know drawing stuff. Just being around like you know this goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Being in Influenced. If I was around Ben, or if I were around, you know, any of the other draw boys, Hippo Tom here, mm-hmm. that yeah. would be great. That would be that would be a huge influence. That would be a huge rush. I agree. I, 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 I can totally easily agree. imagine being in the same room as one of those people, and just like we are both just drawing together. Like we're not like being like, oh, figure, check out this draw, check out this panel. How do you think about that? We could do that. But I'm just saying, you know, in <laughs> fucking silence, in our in our cave. Uh, I got eye, it. I got it. Much here, let me pitch a show to yeah. you for when PCBHQ happens. You and the draw 
cowboys all get together, draw erotic comics, and whoever achieves the biggest Jesus. boner for the audience <laughs> is the winner. What do you it's, think? I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna Munchie, Munchie, let me tell you, I got a, I got a notebook full of real, creative, fun drawings that Ben Saint drew while me and Devu pretended we knew how to draw next to him, and it was, a, it was a great time. You know? Oh, I remember I, those. They're all like colored and shit. Yeah, you were just like fucking around with your markers and drawing like masterpieces mm. while me and Devu were just like <laughs> like attempting <laughs> to even make what we were doing like like visibly readable. <laughs> I remember. I'm that totally, was a great I'm time. totally on board with you, Munchie, because like I think just being around because there's I I live in a vacuum. Right, I have no mm. friends. I have nobody who's creatively inclined around me ever mm. at all. Mm. So yeah. I just do my shit and that's it. But like if yeah. I was like in the proximity of someone who was doing shit that I want to do and doing it better, I'd be like, I love you, but I want to fucking kill you. And it would definitely make me more more productive and, and, oh, uh, and better. And I, 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 I suppose uh, the, the Peace Be podcast would probably still exist, by the way. We'd probably just oh, keep doing uh, this shit. Of course. I, I forgot of course. to oh, mention that. Could, but, it would yeah. get better, for sure. Like, that's why I was back. saying mm-hmm. having it be in person would have right, a to- right, right. add a whole new dimension to it because we'd have that like personal, like real-life interactive element to it. Mm-hmm. By mm-hmm. the way, we can, we so can when you say something stupid, I can go over it. and punch you in the face. All about drawing said, here, fucking fastball, like hit you in the fucking skull before you could even react. Tom Hippo, let's have like a three- Musketeers live action show, or you know something to that effect, where we're all art people who hate ourselves. Yeah, yes, <laughs> good. That's the ma- that's the main theme here. That's what, the main what theme. What would we do? We should all just have a, a show where we just like shit on everybody else who does like reviews and commentary because it's gay. Yes. And then- yeah! Yeah! Okay, uh, fucking tentative plans for 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 I a munchy Patreon. The highest goal is I will never talk about another piece of media in my life. I will never comment or even <laughs> think about bad. other art in my entire yes. life. I want you wasting your time. Product. Just create floor. your own shit. The best would, commentary uh, on media is to make better media yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Yeah, Very right. true. I, I have in my my brain this this imagery of like uh, uh, the a video like all of us uh, drawing on the on the bottom of the screen like you can mm-hmm. see the backs of our monitors and our like uh, pasty white faces <laughs> illuminated by the screens um, and then so above of us is, is like like a recording of what we're drawing and it's just like ten hours of like complete silence of us and drawing then, and then we're above doing. those as there's a there's a gauge for how self conscious the artist is betraying and the more <laughs> self conscious they get the lower a noose from the ceiling bends closer and closer <laughs> down. To Towards them. Um, yes. Wonderful. Indeed. Oh, so, and just to just to get just to get really real, just to get really 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 mm. dark and real, mm. you know. Yeah, please. To- Tommy oh. Oliver's gonna be living in a car soon, and his oh, main yeah. source of income is the PCP. So oh, yeah. if you pay enough to the PCP, Tom might live. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. My, uh, like, my, I mean, I it. you might. I didn't. I didn't want to go there. I don't want to put any longer. pressure on anybody. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, Tom might that's, live. That no. seems to be what's in the cards. Yeah, uh, think about uh, it. Get a fucking job. If you, bum. if you want us to, be <laughs> able, I do have a job. If you want us to be able to afford job, to dude. just put Tom up in a house somewhere and like have him just like nominally participate in PCP content while he works on like his grand vision of 3D art. Support the PCP. Oh, dude, That's I can't true. wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, my, my, my long term goal, and I was gonna talk about this. My, fi- my favorite mm-hmm. I thing mm-hmm. about, about the PCP being a big thing is not mm-hmm. even so much. The, the collaborative stuff because that's gonna be great I love that because I love doing shit with you guys I can't wait to do stuff with Munchie and Hippo and art things and like all that stuff but mm-hmm. my number one thing is the 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 time the ability that like oh I don't have to squall and squander my day away doing all this bullshit that I don't actually want to do because my number one big goal is because I started Sorcerer's Loss and it got immediately in rewrite hell and I figured out. Mm-hmm. just a few months ago like okay i know what the story is going to be and now that i know 3d my long-term goal and i'm going to announce it i'm going to try and hold myself to oh, it no, i'm going to learn all this year okay <laughs> please don't <laughs> please don't do that please tom take it from me don't announce your comics before they're done please don't yeah do that. I, agree. I fucking beg you tom don't make this mistake is gonna be good. Check it out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Munch. Oh, I'll I'll, well. I'll 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 be a I'll be a safe boy for you. Thank you. Yeah. For oh, you. Fucking Christ. Speaking of which, how's your comic going, Munch? It's yeah. going yeah. great. <laughs> I still I still want to see your sketches, man. I'm still waiting. I'll, fucking, I'll show you everything I have. I'll give you everything. I'll give you everything I have. <laughs> 
Tommy, eat batteries for you, Tom. I'll eat batteries. I, I mean, if you want, I, I wasn't. Ex- uh, I wasn't uh, someone, anticipating someone that. But hey, a picture of the investor grater, which is like a grate that's against much of face that he's like grinding against daily. You know, it, it, you know? It, 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 it's just investor with Nate sunglasses on. It, it's, it's like that scenario before, but instead of a noose, it's just a cheese grater on vibrate, yeah. coming closer and closer. It's like a grindstone that he's just slowly being pushed forward towards, Hell and yeah. he's desperately trying to draw. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, God. I mean, what else is there to say? Anyone got any other uh, specific ideas they want to share or anything? Uh, this is I, good. We covered a lot of ground here. I, I, I uh, like the PCP say. Olympics. We'll try. We'll do the long jump. We'll do, we'll do the the monkey bars. We'll, okay, we'll guys, you know, swing here's here's bullet. a literal thing that I would like to make part of canon to like force me to do it. It's always been my dream since I played Final Fantasy VIII and Zell, uh, like level one Zell. Um, did a thing in Final Fantasy VIII where he did 100 pull-ups before the game even started. It has always been my dream to do 100 pull-ups just like Zell in Final Fantasy VIII. And also to run up, I think it's like 64 flights of stairs just like Cloud and Shinra HQ uh, at the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. Those are my true fitness goals for my life. If I can achieve Wait, those. What, 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 you just what need a... to find a tall building to do that second what, one. What, what, I'll get tired though. It takes a lot of energy though. Nate, <laughs> Nate, Nate, Nate. One of the yeah. cold opens of the live action piece CP will yeah. just do will be you doing 100 pull-ups and then you're just the show like you just like getting like <sighs> <sighs> All right, that guys, welcome be... to the PCP podcast. <laughs> We're a bunch of internet creators here today. Yeah. I will like do that. I, 100 yeah. pull-ups is not even unattainable. Your average person well, can do it if they just work out and that's, like, lose That's body how you weight. know you've succeeded, Nate. If you can do 100 pull-ups before the show and then immediately start and not be winded or anything, that's, it didn't well, affect you. Well, I'll be winded, but yeah. And, you got uh, to get better, dude. And so you got to be not be winded so you can immediately start recording. I'll just put that out there. My record right now in high school was 50. What is this? So how does the PCPHQ help you with this at all? Well, because I want to set this fitness goal and invite... I, I kind of have some idea of like a fitness show in some okay, way. I, I mean, I don't be, know exactly. I but. plan to be a hashtag fit boy by the time of uh, uh, of of uh, of H- My HQ. Death. So, sure. <laughs> so we can do a fitness show together. Okay, well, there you go. That's what I, I was getting to. I'm so excited to be the only fat PCP member. I, I, I can finally be the token fat PCP member. I can finally achieve my my ultimate goal. I can't wait. I can't mm-hmm. wait. Uh, 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 by the way, uh, this is not a new show, but I want to fully illustrate that stealing your dad if it was easy would be way better if it was in oh, person. It would it be, would be like a show. Imagine, it would imagine be like filming it in a car. Show. Like, yeah. imagine yeah. filming it with a dashboard cam. Oh, but, yeah. Great. <laughs> but, by the way, by the way, Digi, uh, I plan to do P- uh, Stealing Your Dad live uh, at Radcon 3, and I have a costume. Oh. oh, like 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 uh, the 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 munchie that you see I... depicted on uh, on the the like you know the thumbnail is an outfit that I have in real life. Now I've obtained it. And I will be wearing it. I will wear a costume as well. Holy All right, yeah. Shit. So so yeah, just imagine there's no echo and you can see us eating the food instantly. <laughs> triple is good instantly. Mm-hmm. It would, it would be incredible. It would be That's... great. Yeah, like, e- even if we just made the same content, it would just be better. Mm-hmm. Like, it would just be better done live. Mm-hmm. And uh, and, th- and then, like, in addition to that, like, the fact that it opens up more opportunities for new things. Uh, n- uh, okay, two things here. First of all, Ben, I remember you, and not unreasonably here, but I remember you being very poo-poo of the PCPHQ idea. Uh, Has anything changed for you? Um, if I was poo poo about it, it was probably j- well. I mean, because like me and me and Digi and Devu all lived together when we were kind of calling it uh, PCP HQ for a while, but we didn't really mm-hmm. do anything because mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I don't know, it wasn't. I, Everyone's doing their own shit, you know. You have to it, really plan something. Yeah, we were doing our own mm-hmm. thing, and like mm-hmm. I don't know. So I I just I don't think that was what it was going to be. I, like that that. We called it HQ sometimes at the time, but in hindsight, that was not PCP HQ. Like the the no. a- idea of what it actually is, I think, is still cool. And um, if I was poo poo about it, it was probably just because I didn't think it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but if it did, um, hey, uh, mum's the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, okay, okay. Let's continue talking about you know exactly what shows we're planning to do. But also mm-hmm. as well, I would like to talk about. Uh, 
where this thing will be held, where we think, like, like if there is even a time frame. Like, we touched about this. Okay. Digi, okay. Digi spoiled this conversation topic, but yeah. Let's, let, let, okay, for a while, as hardcore PCP fans will know, we were thinking that Atlanta, Georgia, would be PCP HQ. But, mm-hmm. uh, but, uh, that may have changed, uh, after, after a meetup that all the PCP guys did in Boston, famously documented on Twitter, where I, uh, wore a basket <laughs> on my head, my jacket it is a scarf and, and, and a homestuck t-shirt only in a freezing Purchased by Boston me weather. as a gift, by the way. My gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the lovely. place where that we did... That was a basket? I thought it was like an actual hat. No, no. it was a basket. That was, that was a basket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had a fez all, all, of, all of a sudden. Uh, please I see wish. Twitter to compare the physiques of Andrew Hussey and <laughs> yeah. Munch. Who would win? Please, please. Uh, Who would yeah. win? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, 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 so yeah. Uh, I... I, I guess I guess I'll just describe it the way uh, I, I I like like my, inter- my the way I interpreted PCPHQ and the change from Atlanta to Boston. I from the very inception of the idea PCPHQ was uh, like I am ready to fling myself wherever this may be, whenever it may be, one hundred percent. Like like instantly when PCPHQ is settled, I will I will migrate there like fucking moths to a flame. And then mm-hmm. uh, you know it, it it was shaping up to be Atlanta for various reasons. And so I uh, you know like you know I, I want to see where I will be living. I want to see what it's like. I want to go to Atlanta. And then I went to Atlanta to see Ben. Which was a great trip, and from when I saw Atlanta, it was awful. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was dirty. It was mucky. It was fucking disgusting. On I mean, every it's level, right. it was repulsive. I would. No wonder Ben far. lives there. Um, I hated it. It was real <laughs> shit. And uh, um, all right. <laughs> and, and, and and then for other reasons, I found myself uh, uh, like like a month or two later in or I, actually previous to this uh, in Boston, and Boston was a fucking like it was as close to Nirvana as I could get after Kurt Cobain's death, God rest his soul. It was fucking, it, it, it was pristine. There were very little homeless people. You could actually walk places, which which to, to a West Coaster is very strange. We know it actually walked to location to location. You fucking yeah. East Coasters take it for granted. That uh, is pretty it, it, sweet. It, 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 it was great. And so uh, I, in this Boston meetup that happened during Christmas, I launched, uh, because because I knew that uh, Nate and Digi were the high-profile targets that I had to assassinate JFK style Indeed. in order to get my whim of a PCP HQ in Boston. So I set out, I, 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 I divided and conquered, and I set out to, to convert Digi to, to my hellish religion, and I went on a three-day hard sell to try and get him to move to Boston. I was always curious about Digi. this story, because it just seemed one day Digi was all of a sudden really into Boston, and I knew there was some involvement here, but mm-hmm. yeah, go, go on. I want to know the details here. D- D- Digi, h- how well did this work? I mean, it was pretty simple, because Munchie mm-hmm. has like well cataloged what I like about cities, and we basically mm-hmm. have the same, we're both like huge architecture nerds we're both mm-hmm. huge fans of density in cities like of, of being able to just like go okay. shop to shop and it's just like an endless series of things to do you know mm-hmm. and so munchie not only like told me that that was what it was like the night before we went out on the town but like we then went out and like he took me to the most dense place imaginable you know mm-hmm. so as soon as i saw that place i was like this is the coolest fucking thing i've where, ever seen where was so, that i'm curious the Quincy place market, we were all bro. the fucking marketplace market. okay mm-hmm. like it's just an. It's like literally like two hundred stalls of random food and other crap in like the span of one block. It's fucking yeah. insanity, yeah. and uh, I was I was real hyped for that. And we we just walked around the city a lot. Like we just went to lots of different stores and shit. And I was like, this place is cool. It's real easy to get around. It feels really safe, and people there are beautiful. Exactly. For some reason, every, everyone looks like well, they're in a you know, fucking magazine. Well, you know, we just have a higher stock of you know? DNA quality up there, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know. So, uh, yeah, I was just really excited about the city in general. And uh, and then, like, you know, Munchie fucking, like, really sold me on it. And then May was like, I've always wanted to live in Boston. And I was like, why didn't mm-hmm. you never say that before? Like, fucking this place is cool, you know. So uh, we both got real hype about it. And, um, yeah, it's just. Well, there you go. It seems like a cool place to live. Well, that's sure convenient for me. That was always my particular uh, 
favorite place since my family was, lives like an I, hour away. So I think really I was needed. always resistant to checking out Boston because you guys had suggested it, but I had always kind of yeah. thought that A, everyone was just suggesting it for convenience, and uh, mm-hmm. B, that, it, that I didn't reason. realize it was, it's as big a city as it was. Like, I didn't realize mm-hmm. Boston's like huge. You, 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 you didn't know? realize Boston was a major it's like, United well, States I, relatively city. Relatively speaking, it's no. I, I didn't know, realize it's New like York as or, big or, as Atlanta, though. Like, it's as, it's as big mm-hmm. as. And it's like one of the biggest fucking cities in the Boston in the country. is like the second or third city that your city is named after when you settle as America in Civilization Five. It's a major I've city. I've never played <laughs> city. Well, uh, yeah, Boston. Exactly. I think in my head, Boston. I like my vision of Boston is like a uh, tea party. Like it's old. <laughs> okay. Like my vision of Boston <laughs> is we did, we like we did do that. My vision of Boston was like a very flat place where everything's a tea shop. <laughs> very like, flat like, place. Like, uh, everything's ben, a tea ben, shop. Ben Jesus fucking Christ. All the I'm stuff insulted. Ben described to me about like living in Boston. He's like, oh, I take the train all the time did, did, did and I you? go to hipster coffee shops and like that's that, you? that's you know, my you know the, bo- the Boston Wait, tea that party wasn't actually a tea party. We like said fuck you, British people, I, and your I, tea I, and I, dumped it all into <laughs> the water. Yeah, yeah. We're I like the catch you up on the lore. We need a Boston. We could be more anti tea if we tried. I. I uh, <laughs> where? But. but <laughs> I just uh, remember Ben uh, saying that he like wrote the. I just wrote all of my whole picture of Boston. I can just imagine just you just ben you hear Boston Tea Party and it's just a bunch of people shops. in triangle hats it's, sipping on it, tea, you know, and you're like, well that's where it must no be thanks, now, dude. <laughs> It, 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 it just so happens I saw a TV show about a guy who goes on trains around the world and he was going around in tr- on like the Boston trains and mm-hmm. drinking tea and having oysters. I was oh, there like, you go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Was it, it, it looked cool though. It, he, apparently, like, Tinder dating? It, he explained it. it. What? Was he Tinder dating too? This is my vision of Ben going around Boston. It's just like going to <laughs> no, Tinder dates. Yeah. He was like, 50, he's like he's in his 50s. He's an old man okay. with a weird jacket and he's like, oh, yes, I like so trains. Just like oh. Ben. Incidentally, Boston is the 22nd largest city in the United States with a population of 673,000. Yeah, well, at least it's not the thousandth smallest dick, Nate, like you. (laughs) Well, you got me there. (laughs) You just barely made the list. Congrats. (laughs) Uh, But for for the record, though, I uh, don't even care uh, if we end up in Boston or not. I will go anywhere because I have have dedicated my entire being to becoming financially independent so I can do whatever is necessary to achieve my goals in life. So I will do whatever I have to do. Catch my cold, I will go anywhere. I I just would prefer it to be Boston because Atlanta was gross. Sure. I, sure. Yeah, I, I actually been to still like Austin, places. Texas the best, I think, because I kind of have a, I'm still holding a dream, Sci. a candle for a dream, because uh, I want to work with Sai and live with Sai forever. But mm-hmm. also besides that, like the anime, like voice acting industry is there. And I've always had a little bit of a dream, you know, ever since I was a kid to maybe get Can into that. Voice Kiri Bro. Oh, yes. <laughs> in, in the, the Digi Bros anime adaptation. I mean, and you know what? You, really you know what? People do... keep telling me that I'm just like, my voice is great, and everyone keeps complimenting. And I'm like, you know what? Nate, people have convinced me. Maybe I am okay at this. Maybe I can do you it. You just got to take the route of become mm-hmm. famous, and you can become right, like a voice actor. Well, yeah. and, and I mean, he's just a great any, voice actor. I mean, fucking like Ethan and Ela got to do voice acting and fucking some, what was it, Payday yeah. 2? Like, if you become famous, you could just fucking flex up, just express fu- interest in doing it, and people fucking will fucking Total flex Biscuit you. has like a, like a StarCraft 2 voice pack or like some shit like that. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, yeah, all that shit's great. Yeah, that's the dream. All right, do we want to move on to questions? I picked out I the, time. like, five anyone, that were total dog shit. Does anyone shit. have uh, conclusive statements? I've, I've heard... Ahead. Mm-hmm. I've heard that Boston is quite an English uh, styled city because it was like one of the first ones. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like, it's I not, when they made it. It is not so designed I I would, very well. <laughs> yeah. yeah which true. is why I would like it. It would be like, oh, there's, I remember this sort of thing. It's like, <laughs> like, I remember being lost <laughs> and confused. No, this ago. is just like home. <laughs> yeah. It is the epitome of, uh, yeah, East Coast cities tend to be like a labyrinth, much in the way that London is. But like, yeah. it it's, definitely it's the has, cluster punk of cities. What, what's so impressive about Boston is that in spite of it being like sprawling and weirdly laid out and stuff, like the trains take you fucking everywhere, anyways. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. They somehow yeah, have snaked like them all around to make them work. Yeah. All I'm saying like, is, like, I would prefer a labyrinth than something like New York, which oh, yeah. scares me I and makes it. me feel like I'm on <laughs> like a Chi- computer Chicago. Chip. Literally freaks like flying out of Chicago freaks me out because it looks like a giant grid for as far as the eye can see, and it's fucking disgusting. All I'm saying is, there should be FromSoft's nef- next game should be Patriot Souls, where you play in Boston and you go around the town and you kill colonial people and, and you, you slay the, the redcoats, and yeah, you use tea to restore your HP. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, no. You yes. drop tea. You drop tea to restore it. If you drop it in oh, the you water, drop, you have to find an ocean to hurl a box of tea into, yeah, and that yeah. restores your HP. Okay, all right. Uh, Day one purchase know. for me. I, uh, 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 just to settle out of here, uh, wh- yeah. what is the time frame, do we think? I think, Digi, you said Good you're question. going to be moving in May. I in My lease goes up at the end of May, so mm-hmm. June mm-hmm. 1st, I got to be out of here. So, uh, yeah. There you go. And bo- Boston's real convenient because it's a six-hour drive as opposed to the 18-hour drive that it would take to get to Atlanta. It's closer to mm. people, uh, closer to families. So, you know, it's, 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 it's also convenient for me. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I will. I will say, and I, I don't. I don't want to like shit on anybody's prey, but I will say the only the only negative thing about Boston that we'll mm. probably have to like consider is that if we do it's the like, bombers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, d- depending on depending on who we can get there at the right time, the right place by scheming, it could be a good thing. But um, no, if we do like a legitimate business with the PCP, I know that business taxes in the state are very high. You know, I, I specifically talked to my dad about this, and he, I mean, I, my dad's not a, like a genius. He doesn't know business stuff across the world, but he was saying that the the taxes there are relatively similar to neighboring states, at least. I don't know, whatever. I, I, I mean, mean the, the, all the North, these things will have to be accounted for. The Northeast mm-hmm. is a relatively expensive area to live in in general, yeah. I think, compared to the South. But it's you you pay for like you pay for what you get. It's quality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a good yeah. place to live, you know. Yeah. So it's like worth it. Um, all right. Well, it's true. anyway, all right. We're, we're, we're burnt out. I think. I, 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 th- I think. I think the closing thing to say is just mm-hmm. like like this is our dream. This is what we want with all of our fucking heart. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is what we're at least for me. This is what I'm working towards. This is the goal in my life. These are what Same. like PCBHQ is what all of my actions and 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 you know inspiration is leading towards. Yeah. This is my motivation is getting PCBHQ off the ground and meeting up with you guys and being real life friends in real life to I so I can improve my artistic and personal uh you know life. That's what I, I want with all my fucking heart. I have, as you guys know, and no one outside knows, because I rarely talk about it in public, I spend so much time devoted to PCP issues and trying to work out problems and organize everything for the sake of making this come true and keeping mm-hmm. everyone in contact. Really, like, the, the whole point of making the PCP was so that I could stay in contact with you guys so I could coldly and yeah. calculatedly use your artistic merits to, you know, make my <laughs> life better I mean, and, that's, and richer. <laughs> that's exactly, like, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, there's a great utilitarian reason for us all to hang out that like I want to make the best art possible and I want it to be not only the best but like I want it to be profitable and I see these as these people I'm speaking to as creative voices who like are not only capable of putting out not better things than I can in some ways you know like you guys all have skills I don't have some of you Mm -hmm. are funnier than me some of you are better editors some of you have more creative ideas you know or some of you can just draw and I can't even do that so like Mm -hmm. having you all around like obviously fills in gaps in what I'm capable of and so like let's say I want to make a video that the strength is uh, in the charisma of the host maybe I'm gonna ghost write a script for Nate I don't know you know, sure. there's a lot of possibilities sure. in the future. Maybe half the PCP fades into the background, the other half becomes the popular people, and we just ghostwrite for you guys. You know, like, whoever's got the prettiest face and becomes right. famous. Like, mm-hmm. I'm down mm-hmm. to make this happen however it's going to happen, you know? Imagine the Munchie and Nate Pretty Boy show. God, yeah. I want oh, that. Oh, oh, yeah, the, the two most conventionally attractive PCP members there are. Hey, man, <laughs> the, uh, it's, it's, it, all I'm saying is it's big boy season. Lazy, ladies, <laughs> get you one. Get you one. I, I'm just saying that, like, when you look at the when you look at the Game Grumps or Red Letter Media, like, they've mm-hmm. got guys on the payroll who aren't in all the videos. You know, they like right. like P- Red Letter Media's got Josh. He's always behind the camera in those other videos. You know, he's always Dude, there, but like, he's I would give occasionally anything to on. know. I would give anything to look at Red Letter Media's like financial breakdown, how they oh, yeah. operate behind the scenes. God, I, and the Game Grumps too. I want to study yeah. these things. I'm honestly considering like taking business courses to like understand this shit more. Dude, just get like and, a uh, how to fucking you know. get a business for dummies book and read it. You you read textbooks, don't you? Uh, that's what. I, yeah, yeah. I really should just like yeah. Google and stuff. But yeah, man, I want to cultivate all this so I'm capable of making my dreams real because I accept responsibility for making these things happen in my life. No one's gonna give it to me. I gotta I gotta make it happen. Mm-hmm. You just need to go talk to Jeff for, like, hours. Jeff, teach us how to chill properly. That's true. We need to know. 
Uh, I'm I'm so glad I've started this journey with all of you, and I can't wait to see how it ends up when we're all fucking dead in a ditch in Africa, and that's yeah. the best <laughs> situation we can go for. That's 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 the the good end at the end of all of this. PCP you don't HQ even want to in know Africa. what the bad end of this is. <laughs> all right, Radcon Once we're done fi- uh, farming Ethiopia. Radcon blood diamonds. All right, all right. Hey, enough enough faffing around. Let's get to the fucking comment questions. Uh, I've right, got I've collected five that aren't shit. It was not easy. You guys okay. need to ask better <laughs> questions. Told you, please. It was garbage. Always. Uh, <laughs> the first one's from Banksinator. He asks, do you think there's enough time left in your life to achieve all of your goals slash try everything you want to do? I'm going to add on to this. Let's mm. d- let's let's say without the singularity. Like, without let's, the singularity. Let's okay. say none of us gets to put our brains in computers. Do we have enough time left in our life to achieve all I, our goals? I, I'm 17 years old. <laughs> well... I don't know how big your late. goals are. I mean, maybe you want I, it to be like a Mozart, and it might already be too late for that. Gay. Could he Definitely. still be alive? Could he still be alive? Okay, I'm sorry. Go on. He's trapped yeah, inside my safe zone. I th- I think definitely like there's no reason I can't continue to be making art at sixty. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't have any I don't have any goals that are like yeah, time yeah. sensitive. Like my goals are just like spend my life making my stuff, and that's you know, it. Honestly, my some of my biggest heroes in life, this is going to sound weird right now, are guys like Aaron Hansen and like Jenk Uger in terms of how they just like created something like huge and just like they you know, they just fucking built an empire and I kind of hope to do something similar to that. The PCP is certainly the, young the first thing I want to do uh, or, <laughs> or my first approach to doing so. Uh, and I definitely think I can do it. I definitely think All I right, can. Well, do let it me be time. the first to say no. I don't think okay. I have enough time left in my life to achieve all of my goals and try everything I want to do. I yeah. do think that as I get older, I will have fewer, like, some of those are going to fall off. Like, some of the mm-hmm. shit that I've always wanted to do, I'm just going to be like, eh, I don't care anymore, you know? Or mm-hmm. it's definitely too late. Um, too late to become a porn actor, you know? <laughs> I'm engaged sure. now, and yeah. Uh, yeah. and I'm in my late 20s, so... You know, I don't know about that. You know, I, I can never be... I don't know be, about you being You just gotta 20. sit that down and have a, have a very serious conversation. <laughs> you can I, make still make that I can happen. never I mean, be any kind of athlete, not that I particularly want to, but like, I, I don't well, know. Well, yeah, that's... That's the thing, though. It, do you like? There's loads of things I, I like. Uh, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I yeah. had done that all my life? But I don't well, actually give a there's, shit. There's definitely a part of me like, like, like I've I like tennis as a sport, like as one to play, and I've always wanted to learn to play it, just to do it casually, just to have a sport I play. And that like I've tried be. to get it off the ground a couple times. It hasn't really hasn't really worked mm-hmm. out, hasn't be... really stuck, you know? And I'm kind of feeling like, yeah, if I don't get into tennis in the next couple of years, I'm probably just going to shelf that, you know? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like, that's the kind of the way a, I look a, at it. You could be a tennis PCPHQ dad. PCPHQ tennis could, court. That's, if, that's if, a stretch if, goal. If you have... If 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 you have a kid, you could you could be a tennis dad and just beat That's them because they're I, young. Uh, I I'd be doing my my hero Scooby nineteen sixty one a disservice if I didn't say you can get fit at any age at least up to sixty. Oh no no so. I'm not saying I can't get fit I'm just saying I don't do I don't like actually want to go play tennis like uh, yeah okay I I, I, I enjoy this... the idea of it but then I go out and do it and I'm like well. That was, I guess, that was the thing. Are we gonna do you know, this tomorrow? Like, like I, how long is appropriate yeah. between tennis sessions? Like, how, I don't know. how, after how many days do you say, oh, this isn't a thing I'm really doing actively anymore? Like, do you have yeah. to do it once a week in order to say, like, oh, I play tennis sometimes in my spare time, or like, is once a month enough? You know, is it like bowling? You do it once a year, and then you're like, oh, I don't bowl. Well, it's a you know? spectrum, and and you can say it at any point on the spectrum, but everyone above it who does it more than you will laugh at you. Yeah. That's, but you'll that's be true. legit to anyone that's lower true in on the any, spectrum. That's true in any uh, Did I uh, Did you? I, I, I was going to ask mm-hmm. you, uh, how's the um, porn manga going, dude? It's it's not not really going. We've been busy with YouTube yeah. instead of drawing, and we haven't been listening to this stupid fucking two-hour podcast at all. Oh, really? um, yeah. Turns out they're kind of mind-numbing. Because it's like Digi. two hours of random topics, <laughs> and they work really well as Digi Daily videos, but they do not work as well as like just listening to two hours of me just talk about random fucking shit. Like, Digi, I have never lost more respect, or like, 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 <laughs> like, like, like I, I've never like thought, so, like, like I've never thought that someone's <laughs> IQ has dropped as much as I've thought when I heard you say we're going to listen to podcasts of me for two hours every day, and and if we aren't good at art. 
start by after one month, then we are going to quit, and we will realize that it's not what we want to do anymore. Well, you I know, never fair point. thought fair of like point. a worse, more ill-conceived notion than that. <laughs> Fantastic! Fantastic! Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you recognized it better than I did. I just thought. <laughs> well, Ben messaged me like, "Oh, I watched your fucking uh, one video, your Makoto Shinkai video. It's an hour and a half long, like five times while drawing." And I was like, "Oh, I did. that sounds like I could do that because I listen back to my own shit, you know." But like, <laughs> okay. But that's that's you've you you've you've like you've put the cart before the horse i think yeah <laughs> he's kind of right yeah. oh, you've, you've confused you confused the the causal order in which those things well, occur <laughs> because one listens to digi videos one develops yeah. drawing skills. Because, yeah. the, problem he is learned, less, he, the, the reason he started drawing was to listen to that video <laughs> Fox like the, the, the like podcast, Ben does not have this skill. The skill is hours. contained within the podcast. No, and by yeah, listening yeah, yeah. to the podcast, you channel this skill. <laughs> right. That's how it works. That's how it works. No, oh, it's like it's like in Final Fantasy IX when you equip weapons, you gain skill points, and then once you've equipped that weapon for long enough, you've unlocked that skill. That's what Digi's podcasts are like. Oh, Just no. listen to them, ben, and you'll be unlocking ben, skills in no time. That is not the idea. Like, that's what you think. Ben that's what like, you he's think, like the Digi. Like a Japanese shrine, and he like channels spirits whenever yes, he turns on a new exactly. Digi video, and the flame of the video is how good he is at art that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'm just, I'm just beholden about to yourself, the whims. Digi. I'm beholden yeah. to the whims right, of Digi's so, content. <laughs> okay. <laughs> someone all who's, power someone who's good from. at math confirm for me. Like, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind. Hold on. It would be a hundred, a hundred twenty hours, right? Like, yeah, okay. if 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 it was two hours every day for thirty days, it's a hundred twenty hours of drawing practice. I think that would be that's, enough to tell if you wanted to keep doing it or not. That's you sixty know? hours, right? Yeah, that's sixty. Two hours, hours a day. Oh, for what a month? the fuck ever! It's sixty hours. <laughs> uh, the point being, sixty hours is longer than I would ever play of a video game. It's longer sure. than I would ever do most things. You know, like drawing is a skill that you have to invest thousands of hours in. No, I yeah. I know, yeah, but it, the problem is just to figure out if you like. Like it enough to do to get good, like sure. Because okay, okay. when when you are someone like me who you only really draw like once every six months, when you draw one time, like mm. you have no real way of gauging your skill or like how fast you could evolve. Sure. You know, any time I've ever sat down and like consistently drawn for five or six days, the pictures get better because you develop like the most basic skills just by like mm. drawing at all. You like realize, oh, if I want to convey this, I just need to put a line here. Like you didn't know that before you tried to draw that pose you know yeah. so i think if you're trying to draw shit and i mean two hours is enough time you're going to complete multiple drawings so you're drawing multiple things a day every day you're trying out different poses and i drew some some pretty halfway decent porn i can't post anywhere because it's too fucking extreme it's like a lolly <laughs> getting like i've got like a gigantic drill just like pulverizing some lolly's cunt and it's oh, great Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, i've got Man, a bunch of shit like that all right. All right, we're going down. The I, don't know where to po- now. I don't know where to post it. But, uh... <laughs> 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 I, 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 I like how Digi is like, okay, I, I want to like learn to draw. I want to see drawings what I want to do. Let me start with porn, the most me. anatomy intensive, like like depending on anatomy, exp- like expression, like poses, all these things you have to have mastery over to make even semi like well, decent porn. He's just gonna start with that immediately to like learn start with how to do drill it. Drill in the cunt and then work backwards yeah. from there. No, that's, yeah. that's my my. I mean, most of the way I draw is just like I just envision something and I try to recreate it in in art you know and I, sure, I've got yeah. I, I, reasonable. I I study a lot like I when I look at pictures I like try to study how they did it you know like I'm, I'm someone who thinks mm-hmm. about art I just have not practiced it you know I haven't tried to do it and like because it's frustrating to be bad at something like it's frustrating to draw and suck and like Indeed. but if you Indeed. see progress that it alleviates some of that frustration you think like oh well the stuff I made at the end of the month the stuff better than the stuff I made at the beginning does I mean, that make me feel good enough to keep going or do I feel like I don't actually enjoy this enough to make it worth making this slow progress because I'm gonna have to do this for years if I want to be good I, I think our know? art boys here would say you gotta stick to the fundamentals did you stick to the fundamentals yeah. and like uh, work up from that. I mean I'm not Kinda. even that good at art, mm-hmm. but it just the 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 you know drawing a stupid p 
piece of shit drawing of mm-hmm. like a stick figure is fun yeah. enough for me to continue drawing occasionally. Oh yeah, and I mean, so I, I think I've been doing like you know, I did stick figure comics my whole childhood. I've done, I've took every kind of design class. Like I know all the, Digi-Brody I know the art there? basics. It's just a yeah, yeah Discord right, right. Digiprody that didn't involve any <laughs> art at all. Exactly <laughs> when you did it. Well, you know. But yeah, I mean, I I think that the main, the place I'm at right now is the place where you need to practice a lot to have anything competent come out, you know? And so to me, it made sense. I don't know why I'm trying to justify this so hard. Let's just move on to the next fucking Okay, so the point is, did you suck start? He'll never be good. And let me also just throw out uh, that I always wanted to be a scientist and one who uncovers the truths of the world. To get back to the actual question here about things that we'll never end up doing. I, in my heart of hearts, will always hate myself for like being a guy who's like, kind of like commenting on stuff instead of actually just making the tangible stuff. And maybe one day that'll change. change. Uh, Nate, I hope let, that'll change one it's day. It's time but. for a question that only okay. you and maybe I can actually answer. Mm. Uh, from Horsepower asks, how do I become more disciplined? Oh, okay. That is an interesting... You whip yourself on the back. <laughs> Here, Okay, here's literally what I did. Like, like things like Mia Mafava and uh, like Weagawa f- require discipline to get done as well as like fitness stuff here's what you do accept look at yourself study your behavior patterns this is what i did recognize your massive personality flaws and how you have failed at everything you've ever tried to do just recognize what's going wrong and then just structure your life in such a way that you cannot not do the thing like so you completely go around these weaknesses like for me whenever there's like i've got a long deadline and i've got like a month to do it i just won't do it i will fail and I always have my whole life. So instead, the fix was the, to this was to recognize the times when I did manage to get things done. And the answer was extremely clear. Deadlines. Deadlines are what yeah. allowed me to make TBAP happen. I mean, you know, Ben was involved. I just mean, like, it helped me set, get myself yeah. set to your work. Fucking well, it's true. it was true for both of us. Be, of course. Of be course. creative with your deadlines, by the way. Because, like, my – for instance, I have a – let's say – the two weeks review a podcast mm-hmm. I do for my patrons, which comes out every Tuesday on mm-hmm. well, it's two alternating podcasts, but they come out on Tuesday right at the start of the day, like midnight Tuesday. So I have it written on my schedule like Tuesday, do this podcast, but it's supposed to come out at twelve, you know? So really mm-hmm. the deadline should be the week before. It should be like do next yeah. week's podcast by this Tuesday. PCP is recorded a week in advance, for instance. You know, like the mm-hmm. deadline mm-hmm. for PCP to be recorded is Saturday, and then the release mm-hmm. is is eight days later. So, like, I I just think that's really important to achieving discipline is to make sure your deadlines yeah. are as immediate as possible. Like, and, and set, if you if you think you can do a th- project in three days, set your well, deadline for three days, and then try to get it done I, in those three days. Yeah. You know, I I've had a problem with this. Um, because I did like a month last year mm-hmm. of a video every day and posting the video was the deadline. Like I had to get it up before the end or mm-hmm. like if it was like an hour, like 10 minutes later, then that's fine. I'll just put it up. Um, I, I've tried to do that again, but like understanding that doing one video per day will kill me yeah. at the rate, at the, the, the like uh, quality level I was doing them. So I say, all right, two days. But then, then you start to slip. Even just mm-hmm. even just two days, mm-hmm. s- like spreads out into a week. Like sort of like, it accelerates the amount of time you think you have. Yeah. To fuck around, and I don't know how to. Well, how do I like okay. give a deadline for two days instead of one day? It's okay to like make it to like try stuff like that and then fail, but you gotta recalibrate. Like for example, you Gib, you do heavy editing on like all your videos and stuff. There, it's just it's an unsustainable business model to say like, okay, in one day, like I'll get one of these Kirby videos done. So like, you just have to. And, and here's the other really important thing. Make your deadlines, like, either publicly available so that if you fail, people will give you shit. And you will feel bad and face financial and social repercussions if you fail. You have well, to put stakes. You have to do it. I yeah, do. I mean, I could do that. Mm-hmm. It's just the the videos, like, I want them to come out weekly, and I want to make them faster than one per week. It, which is unfortunate. And if I... It doesn't work like that. Like, yeah. if nobody sees that I finished it, it doesn't feel yeah. like I have a deadline. I think, uh, unfortunately, like, the the reality of being disciplined is you just have to hold yourself to a high standard. Because, mm-hmm. like, if, if you are letting it be the social standing and everything, like you just said, Nate, like, the problem mm-hmm. is you have to care enough about that. Like... 
I have a lot of daily shows that come out late all the time, like, you know, or like weekly or none of my shows ever come out on time. Is what I'm getting at. Everything's fucking sure. late. And it's because people just expect it from me at this point. So, like, I've just mm-hmm. got a low standard of, like, per- being me. Like, I don't I don't hold myself to a high enough standard to have discipline is basically what I'm saying. But you, you there is a social clout to doing that. Like, people have more mm-hmm. or less respect mm-hmm. for you for it or trust in you. And, like, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. You have to have something to. To lose if you don't do it. I mean, whatever yeah. that is for you. Like r- right now with Weagua, Weagua has been kind of slipping later and later. And like, I-, I just kind of like missed a week recently when it was just like I was just too bit like I couldn't do it. And I didn't even yeah. bother to announce it. I was just like, whatever. I'll just like get it out when it comes out. Um, and you know, like uh, this is me sinking into a bad pattern that I want to avoid. And really, yeah. the way to fix it is what I've been trying to do to like limit how much work I actually have to get done. And you know, like make the videos shorter because they're way too long. They used to be like the most popular Weagua by far has like 150,000 views or something and like it was like the easiest one to make I only talked for like five minutes about the actual topic and now I'm doing like half an hour just like on the base top before I even do the other shit like what am I even doing you got to recognize these things and calibrate yourself you got to take responsibility I I, I also think people need to look out for the pitfall of the I missed one and now I don't care anymore such as like if this is a big thing for the gym you miss a gym day, yeah. and you'll oh, be like, yeah. "Oh well, I already missed a day, so psh, your whole That's schedule, my whole schedule, shot, you know." And then it's just you never go back to the gym, and like, and then for, every yeah. two weeks you're like resetting, like, "Okay, time to go back." And then every time you miss a day, it's like you just got to make sure you're in there every day. Like you just mm-hmm. got to make sure you got to plan your life around getting in there every day and forcing yourself in there. That's what discipline is, it's, you know. It's it's easy to it's easy to lose lose perspective on something. Like if you're trying to make something into a schedule and like mm-hmm. you fuck it up, like. Like, you haven't really fucked yourself because you missed one. Like you just missed the one thing. Right. Right. Like right. it doesn't have to ruin your schedule, but y- it's easy yeah, to right. let it do that. For if me you're right hung now, on, on things, I'm really trying. To me, uh, I'm working out pretty regularly, but for me, I'm trying to fix my diet and like I'm doing calorie counting every day. And like when I miss a day with that, it's so easy to just like get out of the swing of it. But yeah, I mean this whole thing is yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. You gotta ke- you gotta keep the momentum going, keep the ball rolling. And, I think uh, it's also do, about like understanding who mm-hmm. you are and like setting realistic expectations. Because like if you shoot for the moon right out of the gate, going from like zero to a hundred, mm-hmm. you're inevitably gonna let yourself down. Everything you gotta, like, begins by understanding who you are and what you need in order to succeed. Yeah. You have to start there. Because like one of there. the things that I that I just changed recently is like mm-hmm. I had a schedule for the last couple months where like I had like Monday I do something, Tuesday I do something else because I have a bunch of things I want to get done and I just I can't switch tasks like that. Like yeah. I'm super unitask. Like I have to just get one thing done because if I don't, if I if I because I had like oh okay I'm, I'll do a drawing on Monday and then I'll do 3D Tuesday and Wednesday and then I'll do a video on Thursday and like none of those things would get done in those one days. I'd right. start something right. the next day, I'd start something else, and so the next day I'd still be thinking about the task I didn't finish the day before. So my attention just got divided and then nothing got done. So like this month I'm just like fuck it. Like I'm just doing one thing until it's done. Like yeah. Even if uh, ideally like I'd get the exact same amount of stuff done, but just because I'm not worried about something else now and I'm just mm-hmm. focusing on the one thing, like it has a better chance of and, being And here's defeated. and it's a very good point and here's the thing that a lot of people miss about this whole process. Be trying to do this, be trying to stick to a schedule and then after some time, a month, a couple months, six months, a year, look back at what you accomplished doing things the way you've been doing and really think about if it's getting you where you want to go. You have to reassess and decide. Like that's exactly what I did before yeah. me and Mafa. I recognized this is not getting me where I want to go. I have to change things. And it's been a great success. So I recommend it's, it highly. It's hard. It's hard to change. It's hard yeah. to change even if you want to, but you just gotta put your priorities in order and decide mm. like what's the most important thing for you. You know? Indeed. Like Indeed. doing things the way you've been doing them or or something else that you need to change something in order to get to yeah. tom uh, on so- something similar to what you just said let me explain to you guys the enemy of alligators like mm. this is this is the <laughs> reason gators taking so long okay it's, it's what i like to call morally convenient procrastination oh where boy I, mm. go, yeah, on, yeah. go on go on yeah. yeah. rest I, in I, peace to <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no um I will be Ryan investigator mm-hmm. and then and then you know just just so ha- like like just so happens I'll get a message from someone like hey like I want to commission you or like oh hey can you design my t-shirts or like oh hey can you can you make a thing for my Kickstarter and I'll be like yes of <laughs> course I Lol. would love to do that yeah. I yeah. would love that with the- 
all of my heart, and then I can be like, well, okay, I'm not working on investigating right now, but I'm doing this really cool epic thing for the lols, my friends. <laughs> Dude, you're and so, so right. I can justify it to myself, like, oh, I'm not getting this work done, I'm getting other work done, but here's That's how the most thing. of my vlogs come to be, actually. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. everything that's not investigator is worthless. It's Munchie, not I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, this is a great point, and it's like, mm -hmm. God, I don't know. Uh, oh fuck! Wait, keep, keep going. I lost track of my thought. Yeah. All right, <laughs> well, I want to. Yeah. I, I was gonna give another uh, motivation advice, um, or uh, uh, what the fuck are we talking about? Discipline. Um, d one of the ways I discipline myself, and this is probably the most effective trick I've used on myself. I'm obsessed with having a clean desktop. Like, I don't want to have more than one row of, or one column, rather, of, uh, of icons on my desktop. So I just keep all of my project files on the desktop so that I have to do them to clean the fucking desktop. Good idea. Like, Very it drives me so insane if there's more than one row that I will literally, like, I'll sit down and I'll just get frustrated and edit, like, all the stuff I have there just to get rid of it. You know? All right, guys, listen. I remember what I was going to say. This right. is where objectivism comes into the picture and where, okay, when you look back on your life, on your deathbed, only you will give a shit about how successful your life was, how much you accomplished. Everyone else isn't going to give a fuck about you. Only you have the power to make your dreams come true, and only you will have to live with yourself and what you accomplished yep. when you're on your deathbed. Do you want to look back on your life and say, I fucking did it. I was a fucking pimp. I slayed queen. I was the yes yeah. boy. I did everything I wanted to do and I worked so fucking hard and I achieved great things in my life. Because See, people will just placate you and lie to you and tell you that you're doing everything great. And I don't care if you're a fucking 50 year old man, you got like four kids. If you want to be, I don't know, a fucking anime voice actor, anything. Like, yeah, you could just say, well, I got to take care of my fucking kids. What am I going to do, man? I don't have time to make my dreams come true. Only you will look back at yourself on your deathbed and say, God damn it. I had all these kids. That's cool and all, but I never achieved my fucking dream. No one else is going to give a shit. You have to care about yourself. Put your priorities first, people. And I'm not saying ignore your responsibilities. I'm saying st literally sacrifice all sleep until your dream comes true if that's what you have to do. Whatever it fucking takes. Because only, you only have one fucking chance to make it real. One shot. For the love of God, one make it happen, people. To seize everything it's 10 you ever luck. 20% skill, 15% concentrated but power of will. Oh, oh boy. 50% pain, 100% yeah. reason to remember the name. Oh, exactly. that was beautiful and inspirational. Let's ask it, answer an equally great yeah. question. <laughs> okay. Jayhawk DX asks, uh, favorite flavored milk? Strawberry. <laughs> <I'm here>. Strawberry. <laughs> Didn't we, hey. didn't we answer this question before? Get fucking out. I'm get, get out. I feel like we have had this question oh, no. before. Oh, no. get out. I, 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 <laughs> oh, hey, it's, it's famous sex haver strawberry milk on the show, everybody. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Strawberry milk that was hit with a, uh, an accent twig. Now I find like, this is Dude, is an accent twig, a.k.a. Yeah. some dank weed? Bam, bam, bam! Oh yeah! I, I like uh, I like skim milk. I like skim milk. That's all I. I love flavored milk. milk. You fucking asshole! It, it's That's flavored milk. like milk. That's Nate, what it's no. everyone like. everyone shits on skim milk. Everyone says, "Oh, it tastes like water." I don't care. You know, it's, like it's I don't good, mind though. that at all. Look, it's I refreshing. Up, I grew up on skim milk, and it, mm -hmm. and then I switched to uh, vitamin D milk because I had a vitamin mm. D deficiency that made me break my foot. So then, yo, bend over. I'll give you a fucking I literally, vitamin D I, injection, <laughs> my dude. I, yeah. I never thought this would be the case, but I literally mm. can't go back. Like I can't go back to skim milk. It's not. Well, it's not good. Drinking whole milk as a skim milk boy. Drinking a glass of whole milk is like drinking a glass of fucking whipped cream. I can't. It's too much. It's yeah, too much. My, I don't want that. My, I don't want my that. Fa my favorite way. flavored milk is Ben Sane. And, mm. and, and all of you oh. on the inside will know what that means. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yes. the, mm -hmm. the Ben Sane. Yeah, the, the, the you know him. You all yeah. know him. That's what it is. <laughs> it's all a right. secret. Uh, last question that I have from the patron discord. If you mm -hmm. didn't know that's where they come from, we get our questions from people. Oh. Give us money and we pa answer their questions if they're not the retarded. Mm -hmm. um, which is rare. Sigris asks, <laughs> realistically, for how much money would you have gay sex with a celebrity of your choice on camera? Your choice? Oh, on camera? On wow, there's camera, a lot of factors there. It changes there. this question. It does. Well, here's, here's the thing for me. Uh, how I would answer this is like, I mean, I would not choose to have gay sex with a celebrity just because it's for money. Like, mm -hmm. like I don't think 
it, it's like a, unappealing enough to me. Like if I was desperate for cash, I'd be like, I'd do it for like a couple grand, you know, like why not? Sure, you sure. need the money. But like, I don't need the money. Uh, I won't even right. like fucking run ads from anime companies because I don't need I'll the money enough free. to fucking do it. You know, like, mm-hmm. so, so y- you gotta give me a lot of money. It's gotta be like six figures for it to be like worth breaking away from what I would normally do with my life just to like for just for money, you know? <laughs> Sure, sure. That's that's a fair point. I'll do it for pennies on the dime. <laughs> <laughs> pick your poison, everybody. Um, yeah. Fuck. I don't. I mean, uh, is the right way to answer this to pick like the most effeminate guy you can think of? Is that like the right way to go? Oh, in a uh, he didn't even like ask what guy. But if you want to answer, question. you go right oh, ahead. He didn't? Oh, no, he uh, just said, "How much money would you have gay sex with a celebrity of your choice on?" Yeah, camera? I mean that's the thing. I'm already financially solvent, so it's really not much of a motive. I mean, I'm right. sure maybe for like a billion dollars, I'd fuck it. Like, why not? I guess I'll do it. But who's yeah. who's the guy who played Carl Drogo? Oh, oh, yeah. oh dude, that guy will tits. tear you apart, dude. I don't know if you want to go with that guy. <laughs> what is? Uh, are you pitching or catching in this scenario? That's, that's a an good important question. distinction. <laughs> you you want to fuck Cal Drogo from the way. A fucking hippo <laughs> who's like five feet tall and like seventy pounds, just like <laughs> butt fucking Drogo. raping <laughs> Cal Drogo. Oh boy, art right now, please, someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Good. Here. It would make for great TV. <laughs> that, that question gave me uh, a Ridlin injection, and now I can't think <laughs> straight. So, 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 so here, I want to ask you guys uh, an even better question, a legendary question. You will pray to this question day in, day out at night. Mm-hmm. How can our viewers support this show and the dream of achieving PCPHQ? How can they do that, Well, Nate? let me tell you what the number one way to do is right now. Head over on to Kickstarter, people. Radcon 3 Arena. Link in the description. Click on that shit. The Radcons are, are, are demos. They are prototypes. the future. Uh, prototypes. Exactly the right the word. The Undertale prototypes. demos. And you know how well that turned out. It, damn right. Damn right. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, I, I We will literally Really make Undertale 2 at Radcon 3. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking promise everybody. Uh, sign up right fact. now. That's a fact. Now we have to make a video after called like Undertale down, 2 and after just release like a, it. A whole show of like downplaying it and being like, I don't want to make any promises. Like, <laughs> Undertale 2. I promise we will make the most financially successful video game that has ever been made. <laughs> Third at stretch Radcon goal $9,002. Toby Fox comes to Radcon 3. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, we should make some sort of Undertale skit where I play Torio. That's a fantastic idea. And then uh, oh, you fuck no. everyone, because that's, yeah. uh, that's what yeah. she does in my in my head. Um, okay, but seriously, the link in the description, people. The Kickstarter, please fund it. As of recording, we are 50%, like 51 or 52% funded. We need money. If you want to see the PCP grow and go to the future stuff, of course, go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. But for the meantime, at this moment, the best thing you can do to support the show and our future endeavors together is go to our Kickstarter and fund Radcon 3. Of course. You will not regret If you got inspired it. by any of the stuff we talked about today it is your duty to support this because this is because supporting radcon is the only way this will get done because radcons are what this is all built right it, it's That's all right. a prototype to see what it's like to be in person this this is the lifeblood this is what it's good this is the spark that will ignite the fucking uh fire that is uh pcphq this is Damn the only right. way to fucking do it Damn or fucking it's all right. hype and you'll be disappointed in us for the rest of your life. Oh no! But hey, you know what? You know what? Uh, there, there was actually a question on the Patreon Discord that said a- at Noise Bandit, who, whose question was, "If Radcon Three fails, what will you guys do?" Which I think is a great question. What, if the Kickstarter fails, uh, well, there's a bunch of ways. If the Kickstarter fails, we will be very embarrassed, uh, but we will soldier on as always. We'll keep doing what we're doing. If we fund it, we're just and gonna then blame. We'll just, we'll just blame the fans because it's the fans who didn't give <laughs> yeah. us money, so it's you, their fault. You yeah. should just blame Arm Retrieval uh, Con, the GoFundMe, for <laughs> siphoning all the hardcore fans away. Very yeah, true. Yeah. Very true. Um, uh, it, the, the point is, it, it could fail, and if so, you guys have the ability to hold us accountable by immediately unpledging. You know, I, I want you to hold us accountable to what well, we fails, deliver. if it fails, nobody pays anything. Well, oh, I mean, if it's funded and then we just, like, make a bunch of bullshit. Like, everyone's mad or whatever. Like, we, we totally oh. don't make... I mean, that won't happen. But if it did, you guys still have power over us, which I, I think is a great thing. I want you guys to be in control. I mean, that's that's and... that's the case all the time. Like, I, I would expect if we started putting out, like, consistently mm-hmm. shitty episodes, we'd lose all of our patrons. Like, that's kind yeah. of how it works. Very that's, true. Yeah. Very that's true. The, so, that's the dream. The axe is constantly over our heads, ready to drop, and we have to dance for you guys 
effectively every week. It's just, View, viewers, the pressure's this on. Is the, this is the rare chance for you, the viewers, for you serfs to become the sultan and for you to, to, lord, to, to lord us. If we do not create quality content, we will be sent to jail. Kickstarter jail. That's we'll true. be sent to the, the high security prison. Also, we'll be fucking sniped literally day and day. Guantanamo we'll be Bay. bed trapped and we'll be shot every time we respond in our bed. Let's just we say Obama die. didn't shut down Guantanamo Bay and it was a big conspiracy, but he knew there were a couple of boys that just had a spot <laughs> reserved for them, you know. Just he had to prepare for all contingencies. And uh, let me let me read one last question here from Zylovich. This is a personal one. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just hijacking the PCP. Is this, is this from it's, the Twitter or from? Uh, this is from the Twitter. This is from the Twitter. Oh, Hannah Zylovich. How do, how do yeah, they Twitter? Zylovich. How do they Twitter no. question us? Oh, uh, yeah, hashtag Ask PCP, everybody. Uh, and here, here we go. Uh, and, of course, we the, record on Saturday. Pity question. But pity question. Here we go. Uh, it's Nate. I'm a Philadelphia sports boy. You're a patriot scum. What do you think of the chances that the Eagles win their first Super Bowl over New England? This is assuming you watch sports. I am up to date, uh, This Zylovich. is the worst question. No, yeah, okay. Uh, that's why I said it, this, my, my buddy John will not be listening to this. But if you ever hear this, John, who is – okay, this has been a big thing. He's an Eagles fan, always has been. I'm a Patriots boy. I've been lording over – him for decades. Oh God! If the we were just talking lose, about losing patrons. Now we're talking about sports. We just alienated our entire <laughs> no, fan. We're base. accessing a whole new demographic right no, now. We're, we're pulling them yeah, in. Yeah. Okay. Listen, yep. John. At the very end. Our appeal. This. The Patriots have a zero percent chance of losing this fucking game. It's not going to happen. We will destroy the Eagles for all time. There will be no recovery. There will be no more Eagles after this fucking Super Bowl. But then John, who's gonna play to Hotel California? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear my Hotel, Hotel California. Oh, God, thank you. California. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sports Center, everybody. It's time to go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've lost control. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you on the next episode. Funder Kickstarter, Funder Patreon. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Also, iTunes. iTunes. Google Play.